Okay, back to the Forza. This is the sixth. This is number six in the uh, in terms of the VODs. And I'm gonna be starting. Whoops, not quite yet. Uh, I'm gonna be starting this one off with the Viper versus Corvette, which is uh, the only level 30 event that I have left so far. And so, and also. Uh, the fun realization that this is going to be the last championship to have this fucking track for a while. I'm going to be using the Hennessy v Viper that I unlocked earlier in the playthrough because just well, it's the perfect. The car is more than a fit for this, so. And plus, I already used the Link. I had already used the Lincoln Filter earlier, so I wanted. To I thought my excuse I thought it would have been made more sense to switch over to the Hennessy this time. Can't repaint this card, so it's just stuck with the black with the stripes, but that's fine. Looks good in this color. Hopefully it'd be, hopefully this should feel, feels like this should go through fairly quickly because this car is, well, exactly that. It propels at an upward velocity. It's a ground that never ends. Ugh, excuse me. Sinus. It is actually interesting, even like this point in the game, I'm still I'm still getting like a short version of Road Atlanta to appear. The, the Hennessy Viper is such a good car when you, it, it, you... You can't put a lot into the upgrades, but of the upgrades you can, it does uh, benefit the, ve the vehicle. They say built from the ground up, but we're still stuck in the ground so far. Sure are. Like, I would like to see the surface. Scam man, Viper. Oh yeah, it's the Viper you never get, smile. You send the payment and you get nothing in return. Li living life, the John Hennessy route. Just take everyone's money and give no nothing in return. You, you, oh, you you just played Horizon 5 for the first time? How, how did that go? I thought people were exaggerating when they said the game just gave you cars all the time. No, no, there, that's no exaggeration. That's literally what the game does. It's like, hello, do you, ha hello, let me give, a, let, let us give you cars and cars and cars and cars. It doesn't, and like literally the game just, it doesn't matter like which car you start with, the game just gives you all three of them anyways. It's literally just, literally that first thing is literally which of the three do you just want to drive first? It's not even just which one do you want to start, it's not even just, it's, 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 it's really just the cheapest form of and starter car. Because it's more like and starter cars, plural. You get nothing, not even your car back. The illusion of choice. Renderware was the unity of its time because of how flexible it seemingly was. I mean, that's why everyone was using Renderware back in the day. Thanks, EA, for kind of uh, shutting that all down rather than letting, letting other teams freely continue to use Renderware if they so wanted to. Ugh. Uh, maybe? I don't remember. Oh dear. 
That had to be like that had to be like the most nonchalant spin around I've I've had yet. Got summoned by Viper V10 noises. Yes, hello Bogey. As well, hello Bantwitha and Q and uh, anyone else that I didn't get to yet. I don't think Sega want, doesn't want to put Sonic Heroes on Steam because of Renderware. I mean, maybe. Sometimes I wonder if they even rem if they even remember that they even fucking they even fucking made a PC version of that game. Viper with added wing and lip and uh, lip extension, bumper extension. Looks like a Civic wing. Kind of does, TBH. You can see it a bit. A chin extension. Also, because I didn't, I realized I didn't get to it yet. To answer your question, I do, I probably should repaste the GPU to. I've just never actually done that. I don't even know if I have the rubbing. I don't think I even have like full on rubbing alcohol lying around anywhere. It's a problem. It's really, it, it only seems to be with like. The only game I really experienced that with though is uh, Motor Fest. I just need a new GPU, honestly, though. I can't like that game is that game even on my uh, that game even on my on my 2070 bottlenecks like it can't hit it like it I even on max settings I experience frame like dropped for, I, I I can't I don't experience cons a constant 60 so I just I just need a new card that's why I, that's why I changed my uh, current current goal from the PS5 to that because you know I do still as, because I still I need I need to work a computer more than anything, obviously. Okay, one more go around here. <clears throat> well, when EA bought Criterion, they 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 ended up buying they ended up uh, inheriting the Renderware engine because Criterion were the team that that developed the Renderware engine. And initially, the the, the idea was like other cut cut like outside. Uh, EA teams and stuff would have still been able to uh, use utilize the engine, but that didn't last long. And then they eventually uh, canned it. This what this would have been like, uh, not not far into the seventh gen when when all that started happening. I don't know if I have this on like medium or anything, but I don't care. After all the after the previous runs and such, I'd rather just deal with less headaches. <sighs> yeah, like I said, I, I do I do want to get myself a new GPU so I can get like so I can get something to play it more because so I can get um some of those newer games to play at frame rates without having to like lower settings right now. It's, it's my birthday in a week. Does anyone want to help a Dirk out smile? I, I kid, of course. Oh, that's not, no, 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 no. They're, 
Trust me, you, 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 there is a definite not Bathurst track, and let me torrent, and uh, you'll see if if it shows up in this championship, you will know that it's a not Bathurst. Cause this is this ain't the one. Yeah, Blue Mountains. That's the not Bathurst. Not spotty. Upside down spa. The shoe track. That's right, Vice said it. The, 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 the big three GTA games of the PS2 era were all renderware as well. Odd Finest Hour, Black. Dragon Trail looks a lot like this track layout. A little bit. I, I can see, I can see it a little bit. On our Vice City at San Andreas, also mobile, also run a wind Uh, not sure. But yeah, like right now though, like, oh fuck. Right now though, like, uh, just. Going back to what I was mentioning about the, the thermal pace, I, the closest thing I have is like hand sanitizer, which has a lot of, you know, has like rubbing alcohol, heavy traces of rubbing alcohol in it. That would be like, that's like the closest thing I have right now. And then just like putting that stuff on like a Q-tip or something. But I uh, don't know if that would work very well or not. I'd also, I'd also I'd also have to remember where I last put my the thermal paste that I used when I put that new CPU in. So I can't remember where I, I can't remember where I last put it. But no, like I said, I, I think really, like I was saying, though, no, I do just need a new GPU. <laughs> rather just, rather, rather just play it like the most safe, and then like, even with the new GPU, I can like easily take out the old one and then repaste it and sell it. But, or I might just leave it as a backup.
made fun of the Rockstar made a sequel for a table tennis game. That's still like the funniest thing to look at like one game studio's portfolio. They have like all, all these established like M-rated titles that they're well known for and then there's, there's also just randomly slotted in there somewhere. Table tennis. Crisis and Cry Engine they use is being made because Sonic Boom was going to be an Xbox One and PS4. So why? What caused them to switch platforms? And when oh the Wii the Wii U thing. When you say the Wii U thing, are you just talking about the fact that the Wii U became a console and it was just like they wanted to put it on more, I guess, family-oriented product, question mark? Sega made a deal with Nintendo. Probably makes sense, honestly. <coughs> oh, excuse me, Jesus. Still, you could use your old GPU to lower the price of your new one. It makes sense, honestly. Like I said, though, I just want a new. I just want to get a new GPU because I want to get. I just want to take care of the like the situations of the games I'm running into. Where even now with the new CPU that I'm just getting, I'm not. I'm not getting like. Max, I'm not getting like 60 on like 10, uh, like max at 1080p, which is what I'm experiencing with a couple of the games that I have. Which is why, again, if if you wish to add help to her goat for reasons I cannot explain, uh, exclamation mark tip. I also have it as a, I also have uh, the one I'm looking at in particular is a thing on my throne as well, exc exclamation mark throne. Or don't do any of that, I'm not your dad. Rocks are tech table te tech table tech what? I'm having a moment. The Rockstar table tennis game was oh shit! It's uh, the the Rockstar table tennis game was basically a tech demo for the Rage Engine, uh, which they still use to this day. Even I see. Still won't get over why MS Sony or Nintendo thought Power PC was the move for seventh gen and Wii U. <laughs> Go donate for free pickles, please. We're overstocked. Hey, I gotta get rid of these pickles. I'm just gonna start with that again. Yes, I'm aware that I'm aware that that is I'm aware that that is a hard place on the track queue. Trust me, I know. You have to start with hello. OMFG James May Riety. Jesus Christ. Warm, you say that like it the way you say that it's like it's it's almost like a threat. It's like I it's like you will stream this, damn it. I'm gonna make sure you fucking stream this. It's like I'll get to it. Just give me time, please. That's all I ask. Oh, do they possess this knowledge? Project Gotham Ransom. Oh, 
Oh, don't get... Don't get... Dude, I'm making a fucking joke. Reminds me of that meme, I will marry you. Project Ransomware in Gotham. Oh no. Sit Ransomware that game mentioned we were talking about. Damn, Rance, my favorite ed game engine. Oh no, oh no, my computer's gone now. Play Burnout 4, which runs the new Ransom Engine. Damn, they got their hands on Burnout 4. Isn't that literally just called Burnout Revenge Smile? Dominator came out after Revenge. Just letting you. So that. I don't know if that joke that completely works. It's a video about renderware that decided just also tell me about the Pepsi military fleet. Fleet? Fleet. I, I can't fucking, I can't fucking language. No fleet? Burnout Most Wanted. Akis, that's just called Most Wanted 2012. Unbound. There was a time that Pepsi bought leftover military vessels from Soviet era Russia and attempted better relations with the country to sell more soda. <laughs> they want a better relation so people could buy Pepsi. They want them stonks. And they are gonna get their those stonks, damn it. They were really about their bag. Riot control vehicles that fire pure Pepsi. Riot control vehicles for hydration. <laughs> Fucking Pepsi had the sixth most powerful naval fleet in the world. Yeah, Pepsi were like. Pepsi were like, look, if we if if push ever comes to shove and someone needs to win these fucking cola wars. 
It's a crime. There's not a single viper in high stakes. Yeah. Would have been nice. Tanks, boats, battleships, all naval. A dystopian future ran by Pepsi. Just everyone's fridge is just loaded with Pepsi products. You can't choose you can't choose whether or not they're there, they just are there. meant to do that. Sweden during Christmas has a Coca-Cola hit ad that shows Santa drinking pep Santa drinking Pepsi and he gets caught on camera. I wish that was a joke, by the way. Sounds like a very uh sounds like a very uh Cola War commercial thing to make, honestly. I'm sure they would have probably had submarines. Wouldn't wouldn't be too surprising. Coke milk. Isn't that just called kilk? Good night. Good night, uh, by the way, bogey. Contender 3, RC Cola. They're still a thing? Oh, wait, no. Coke milk. Pilk. Pepsi milk. Durr. I am smart. Sweden has a domestic drink that outsells all soft drinks during Christmas. Well, well, what is the drink? What is an drink? Jewel must. I don't know how the hell you say that. Well, five laps of the, of the Maple Valleys. That was close. You must. I know Jay's are very wise sounding in Sweden. Must is not yet fermented fruit juice and it's Christmas themed. Huh. Hello, hello by the way, Dogzilla. Hope you're doing okay. I've never, I've never, yeah, I've never heard of that drink before, Aki's. Probably because, you know, not from the, not from the area. Uh, you've not missed a whole, you've not missed too much so far, Spies. I've only, I've only had the, uh, the I've, I've only had the actual recording uh, local VOD going for about like half, like 
half an hour, so I'm still doing the, the first championship thing of this particular part, so just like a few races into that. See what you see? I haven't. I've well, I played the Forza Horizon games on my own time, but I haven't actually done like a proper like stream playthrough of it, and I still can't do this fucking corner properly. I always seem it's always almost every time I do this track, I always manage to do that at least once. Something about this track just never, can never do it, can never do it properly. It'll probably be a long wait because I, because truthfully, I do not, I just can't see them bringing that track back at this rate. To be, to be perfectly honest. Hello, fe hello, fellow skeleton. Cannot consume alcohol. You get sick. I just. I don't know if I would get sick, I just choose not to consume alcohol, because fuck that. I am quote-unquote responsible at least 20% of the time. High thunder, however, is money. Well, I mean, I wouldn't know. I never got. I've never gotten money while stuck when, when I've. I've never gotten money when I was high before. It's not that I remember. Cat, come on, please get. Thank you. Didn't know I was a skelly. Yes. Yeah, uh, I was gonna get some money, but then I got high. Ooh, yeah, I, yeah. I Afro manned my way to uh, High Town. It'll be soon. It'll be relatively soon. I also gotta keep it. You also gotta keep in mind, Akis, and when the next episode comes, gums. Oh, Jesus, I really gotta. I really gotta pace myself with my words. Uh, whenever the next, when the next video goes up, it will. Um, it'll be. It'll still be called Highlight Reel. It's gonna be the last episode to be called that whilst it's live because I want the transition over to the new name to be a smooth one so it doesn't just come off as very sudden for people on YouTube like 
I'll I'll take the chance in the I will I will take the chance in the next uh it, I will take the chance in the next highlight reel episode to cut to explain the change in the na to explain the name change for pe so people know so people will will know going forward. There we go. We're halfway through this. Got three more events in this championship. Ooh, this should, this will be this will definitely play to the Viper's favor. This track. But yeah, and in fact, Replanet Fest is just going to be the new name of Highlight Reel, starting with episode thirty-four. I'm retiring the name. I'm retiring the the the, the highlight reel name. I just want it like I've been meaning to replace that name for such a while because highlight reel is such a basic name. Kind of just it's a very commonly used term and too many other things, including other chant other other people's own video series is on YouTube. So I wanted to I wanted to give the the series a new name so that that actually that uh, isn't being shared elsewhere. You can thank Q for the name. The Q is the one that came. He was the one that came up with it. He's gonna scratch. He's gonna scratch it. He's gonna crash it. Is is that how little of hope you give me, man? Like, damn. I keep this community afloat somehow. You, you're you're doing your best. Smile. You might have Akis? I don't know. Thank you. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be working on the next episode during the week over the weekend, so. No, 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 it's fine, Akis. I, highlight reel's not hard for me. Highlight reel is, uh, slash impact. That shit's not hard for me to edit. Like, that one I can, I, that one I can do. Because here's the thing, Akis, and the reason why I don't hire, I haven't hired on editors and such. I do, I would not feel comfortable hiring on anyone to help edit videos for me if I couldn't pay them. But unfortunately, with my, due to my uh, financial situation, I cannot pay people. And that just wouldn't be right. So that's why I don't hire on people, because I, because I wouldn't feel right not being able to pay them for their, for their time. How many, how many, see if I'll actually be able to lap any more of these people. I 
There's like a group up there. I might if I might be able to reach them. We'll see. <laughs> kind of just looks like they're sitting still when you just look at the speed difference there. <clears throat> so what was this about crashing at Q? Fucking Silverstone next. Your game's gonna crash. Damn, you you're you were that determined that there is going to be a crash of some sort. The commitment. Yes, angry Does face. You become a dumb and sit on my face and eat my teeth. Why would I eat someone's teeth? That just sounds gross. Uh, thank you for the prime sub, though. 17, so 17 month sub. So about a year, a year and five months. Welcome back, bud. They're full of nutrition. That's, I, 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 I prefer. I would prefer not to. Thank you very much. a powder or <laughs> God damn it. I'll eat my teeth instead. I give it the No, he leaked my teeth instead. Thank you, Q. Also for the Prime sub for the nine months. The Prime Babby. Give a mortar and pet of oh, a what a, a a pest what is a pestle? What is what is that? Also, hype train being closed. What the? F hey yo. The rare the rare side of one of those in my in my chat. In my Twitch TV. Waka 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 waka. It is a hardened stone cup and a stick for grinding up things into a paste. Use it to grind spices and make guacamole and shit. Usually used with. Oh fuck! It's too late. Ah! We're fine. It's a good thing there's a runoff here on this track. Guac, guac. Yes, Jacob. Thank you. Ah, yes, the paste maker. Uh, wow, a hype trade is close. Sub gift to use bits now to start a hype trade according to this in the next two and a half minutes. Don't tell me, don't tell me what to don't tell me what to do, Twitch. It's called a pestle, noted. T today we learn things. I sing a song. Uh, sure? Question mark. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. This stream is sponsored by Thompson Teeth. The only teeth strong enough to eat other teeth. That sounds like the sort of thing that you would know from experience. Thank you for the three dollars. I appreciate it, bud. You uncultured swine. Damn. 50 seconds to go for, uh, on a potential hype. Wow. Baby, you got an atom bomb, a motherfucking atom bomb, 22 megatons. You've never seen so much fun. Like, I haven't watched Futurama in years. Give me a fucking break. Goodbye, potential hype train. Gone forever. I hit my shiny metal pant. Just the one, just the one pant. The single pant leg. Thoughts on Burnout 2? It's good. Enjoy, I enjoy it. Flawed, but good game. The marketing was a train wreck, however. At least not. Well, yeah, I mean, you know. It's like. Burnout 2's UK marketing. Uh, hi, yes. We're at claim and we will. We will. We will pay off everyone's speed tickets on the day of this game's release. Yeah, good. Yeah. Congratulations. You just caught. You just. You just allowed a whole. You just. You just gave people a reason to fucking go fast. And cost you money by doing so. That's a that's an actual thing that they did in the UK. I'm not even kidding. The marketing scheme for Burnout 2 was on the day of that game's release, Acclaim would per, would uh, pay off every any would pay off everybody's speed ticket. If, If you had a ticket for speeding and you need, if you had a, a ticket for speeding and then you just contacted a claim, they'd, they'd fucking help you out. Just on the, just on that day of that game's release. Oh no, they went bankrupt in 2004. They, they were, they bankrupt a year earlier than that. Sadly, they, they thought they cooked. Sadly, they burnt the water. Oh boy, delicious. Delicious burn drink. Alrighty. <laughs> Add one more, and we all know what's coming up next. We gotta take we gotta take this one in because we got to take this track in because it could potentially be the last time we see this track for a good while in the game. Because after this, the next uh, the next playlist, uh, it's the Norwich Life that replaces this track. Complex stringent, or, or it's the Fang default. <clears throat> See Fang default string error track. Complex rope.
String it for the boys, string it for the girls. Every time that you lose it, string it for the world. Absolutely stringing it. Claim had other weird PR stunts as well. For example, for Torok of Evolution, they would give their parents six thousand pounds if they named their child Turok. I mean, it's not the worst thing they could do. That explains my name then. Damn, I didn't realize he lived in the. I didn't realize he lived in the UK during that time period. Q. I like to name my kid Turok Howard. I mean, I can't, I don't know if this is the last, I don't know if this is the last time that this track will appear. Uh, I just know for, I just know the next upcoming championships this track does not appear in, so. So maybe this might be the last time. I, I can't, like, I'm not 100% sure. I'm not 100% sure on that. But I know what you're trying to imply, so you may as well get it out. That may as well get it out of your system. For BMX Triple X, I got strippers and actual porn stars for the advertising of the game and to be in the product. I wish I was joking. It literally has Triple X in the name. Are you surprised, though? You're safe for a while unless someone threatens you with a Selena 7. It'd be very on brand of the game to do that, TBH. Bare nipples, damn. For another game called Shadow Man uh, Two Weekend Coming or Second Coming, uh, they legit they legit bought advertising space on tombstones and cemeteries. I excuse ex fucking excuse me. I I can't even be I can't I'm too I'm just too distraught at what the fuck I just read from Tor to to have even to even make much thought of what Weirdo just posted there. I'm sorry. Advertising on fucking tombstones. Excuse me. Yes, this is this is back. This is a uh, this is the reverse variant. This company was ran by teenagers looking to be edgy. I mean, that's, that's I mean, not surprised by that. I ban another mod very carefully. The complex string at home. We have complex string at home. Complex. Oh, Jesus. Complex string at home. Hello, hello by the way. Knock on the murrow. Fuck it to Thunder's account and then hit bad. I'm not telling you my. I'm not telling you my details.
How do I ban another mod sword fight? Jesus. It's a bit medieval, don't you think? The track design was drunk and high when he did this track. I think the thing, the, the ones that were more drunk and high is the, is the insistence of the amount of laps you do because they, they sorted it by overall track length and not so much, uh, and not so much, uh, how long it actually takes you to get around the track. In this whole universe, it probably exists someone who likes this track. I mean, in terms of like actually testing a car, it's not that it's it's a good track for that. It's just the amount of times during like the mid portion of this game where you have to like where this is like the last track of a championship. It just got so goddamn repetitive seeing this track over and over and over again. Especially because it's because it's so much longer than ever, it's so much longer than every other track you do because it, this is this is a track that is indeed testing. Ow! No, they are not good race tracks because they're not meant to be raced. They're they're meant for testing, not for fucking racing. What if we made a test racing track? What would what, I mean? What would we do? What would what would we end up making? It's a hot take to say Dorschleife isn't a good race track. Not according to James May. I mean, here's the thing with the Nordschleife. It's, it's very, I obviously respect it for what it is, for being one of the only tracks left of its time, of its time period. But there's also a reason, there's also a reason why uh, you don't get tracks like that anymore because, uh, just, you know. The only real place for actually racing is the GP circuit, which isn't part of it, and the long ass back street. Yeah, it's like it's it's still a nice spectacle, but it's not but there's a reason why it's not used in the same capacity that it used to be used in the past for for racing and stuff. It's why it's mostly it's why it's mostly a track these days for people to just take their own cars and drive around. For track days. But, but, but would I rather race there than here? Yep, abso fucking lootly.
All right, well, there we go. For now, goodbye, test trussy. And let's get our, our add and price card for this, which is an Imza Corvette. It's a little bit too bright of a shade of yellow for this car, but we'll, we'll run with it anyways. It's not like I can cheat. It's not like I can fix it anyways. Wait, let me just see real quick. I know for the next one, I know for that next one, I'm not going to be able to use. Um, so yeah, so that one, that Nurbur, Nurburgring here, I already know about that Nurburgring. This one's the first eight race one. That one also has Nurburgring in it. I actually don't have a car currently available for that. Nope, no Nurb, nope, Nurb, no Nurb, no Nurb, no in here, I, or not number. no, sorry, not, Nurb Green is here, duh, no, uh, no test track, and then I don't have anything else to look at those other ones. This is just any S-Class car, so obviously, we on a set. <laughs> the fucking S7 is probably one of the better cars I have for that right now. If you just look at the stats of this thing and then you compare it to like the majority of other vehicles, it's like not even terrible. Like, like I don't know what I don't know what they were cooking with that S7, but they were they they put all their fucking bat they put all all the eggs in their fucking basket with that with that car apparently. Might just be the best choice I have. Oh, I am oh, I am on medium, so that was just that was just my car was just that good then. I want to use the Decur GT because I have it. Because I got it not too long ago. Oh, I want. I also was kind of curious to see if there was anything I could do that would uh, help get this thing a rarity of a. Uh, a rarity of 10, but uh, doesn't look like that's happening. Got close, but. Sure, why not? Find it a bit nuts that some of those rims are still in Forza. All the time later. Okay, uh, let's just see how this does. I really hope it's not a case where I'm just gonna have to pull that damn S7 out, but we'll see what happens, I guess. I'm thinking this car should be good enough. Especially after the upgrades I've done to it. Yep, 12 laps of Sakuba to start off. Yes, there is, in fact, an ME412 in this game. The U-Class, that's Forza 2. Oh yeah, I think we should be fine. Should be, should be no sweat. Should be no sweat here. Car, the car GT is more than viable here.
Oh, it would have been, I think it would have been very baller too, Q. Although, I think the, the realistic truth of it, as much as, as it always pains me to admit, is probably another reason the ME412 never happened is it likely just would have been too fucking expensive to produce. But it likely costed, uh, to make that thing regular on the production, I think it would have costed Chrysler and Daimler at the time a lot of fucking money to do so. That and obviously Mercedes being upset about the fact that Chrysler did their engine, but better. But I suspect the cost of it would have been more the ultimate cause of its, of why it, it did not ever become to be. Also the, also the ME four twelve the car with how many tail lights do you want on the back of your car? All of them. Catacurus CN. My favorite Catacurus. Wait. Indeed, all yes of them. Yeah, there is a there. Yeah, I believe the GT90 is a running example somewhere. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's not a it's not even the s7. That's the one that's closest to me It's that it's uh, probably as I I guess I probably shouldn't be too surprised by the uh, the me 412 is the one that's uh, closest to me The seven's not a not a worry I'm still holding my own fairly well, so I'm not like not too worried right now. Yeah, we're oh yeah, we're running good. 52 brought it down to a 522. I feel like my f foot's about to fall asleep. I think I am getting a, uh, every net taking a little bit, but I think I am getting ever so further away from that uh, Chrysler slowly. Alrighty. 
Oh, no. Well, that's not what I meant to do. So good. It was banned in Le Mans. It could ra r race for another 24 hours if needed. It was that reliable. Is it bad that when I was first reading that, I thought it said it was that edible at first? Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Tells you how good my reading is at first until I pr proofread. Yeah, I'm definitely pulling away from that from that ME412. This car is definitely can hold its own more than well enough. That is actually factual info about that about that car. That is like the uh that like the engine in the 787P was that good. Like this is not like something that's like made up to kind of make it sound more impressive or something. It's actually tr it's actually a discovery that was made about the car that the car even after running 24 hours there was still enough life in it that it could have safely done another 24 hours if it wanted to. It's also part of the reason why that engine got banned afterwards because, uh, you know, raisins. It was more just regulation changes. It just didn't allow that engine, that type of engine anymore. There we go. And a courtesy. So yeah, I was, I was, oh wow. The fucking Koenigsegg did an identical lap time to me. TVR was doing 51, like low 51s. Damn, that thing was, that thing is quick, but it just not, just couldn't do it consistently enough, I guess. Or just struggles be just because it's not as good in the corners as some of the other cars, maybe. I probably just blame it for just the AI just finds it to be like a handful or something. The S7 did not appear to be a threat here at Tsukuba, so that was nice. All right, nine laps of the short version of New York. Like if there's any anywhere here with like that Chrysler or the 
or especially the TVR is going to really shine at. This is probably one of the tracks because just so much of it is is high speed focused. This will actually be short of the Zakuba race, I think. If you could, a standing start lap, even with this car, still took me just 57 seconds. So yeah, this will definitely be because this is only nine laps. This will definitely be, someone lose their bumper. Uh, this will definitely be shorter than the Zakuba race. Oh, the oh, dude, that was too hot. Yeah, Mazda had an engine that was wildly different from the competition and was wildly more reliable. That's why I got effectively banned. They had a leg up on the competition. I just call that a skill issue for the rest of the manufacturers. Just, they just need to make better engines smile. I think their worry was more that they didn't they they probably did that more because they probably I wouldn't be surprised if they thought they felt that the, the competition would not have been able to make something like that and that was their way of trying to remedy the situation I don't know it's just my just theorizing oh fuck Yeah, it's usually more often not the fate. Yeah, it was not the the it was not the pace of the rotary engine is why it got banned. Like it like the 787B even in 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 its race that it won, it was not the fastest car. It was not the fastest car. It's just the fact that it was it's the f it's just the fact that the 787B was so reliable is why it won it was it played such a large factor as to why it won. I don't think it was like super I don't think it was like massively slower or anything. It was only like no, it was only somewhat like compared to the like the top cars. It wasn't as fast as them, but it, I wouldn't say it was like slow by any means. I'm aware. I'm aware of that, Senok. I'm just meaning like it was slower by comparison, but I wouldn't say it was out like downright slow. That's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to imply. me to do that.
There we go, sub 54. about das how about it the only case of baiting that i can remember was the Celica gt4 big brain sheet oh yeah the like the illegal turbos or whatever that that car had or something at least i think that's what it was which is what got it bopped imagine sharing rotter damnation to a friend without context what you mean what you mean to tell me you didn't Oh, Jesus. I didn't realize I was not clear of that. It, I kind of looked like I was, to be honest, but I guess not. Fine, we're still in the lead. Point of view, the car is wider than you think. At wider, lo wider load coming through, apparently. See, no, nothing to worry about. Yeah, that's... I'm not surprised it was the TVR that got behind me. Well, anyways, level 48. We only got two more levels left to go. And for getting level 48, we've been awarded a Ferrari Enzo. Yeah, just two more levels left to go, and then we'll be maxed out at level 50. And because at this point in the game, a lot of the championships will start to be longer and stuff, it means the, the prize pool will uh, kind of, you know, just be substantial enough. <laughs> Congratulations, you've got a cease and desist. F50 or Enzo though? F50. Not even a second thought. F50. Ah, oh, fuck. That's not good. one for that i'm just I'm like just the f50 is just just 
easily the most interesting of the three cars, in my honest opinion. Thanks, bud. Really appreciate your driving there. Can I be boring? You say the four five eight is your favorite Ferrari. I mean, you're free. I mean, you're free to your, you're free to your opinion, even if it's not the right one. Smile. Antiquated AI moment. Yeah, I gotta look. For, I gotta look for an opportunity to pass, but it'd be a little bit easier if I just had the one car to do it. To do it, but I got two cars here, so. Gonna have to probably be my best chance to go for something here. Jesus, bud. Chrysler is really trying to find a, 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 a way to try to get second back there. You can't viol You can't violence Luke in a second. No, you really can't. had to watch my back to make sure I didn't get slammed into behind again. Sir, please provide ample room on the racetrack. Oh, great. Well, at least it puts the Ferrari back into the Chrysler to kind of uh, deal with that deal with that pest. Gives the pest more to work with. It's it's, it's just called the AI. It just does it's. But what it's called, Chris, is that the AI in this game is just not good. Taking a while to load that preview, aren't you, Twitch? It's not gonna load it, is it? It'll just be the clip that forever loads. Mildly competent to compete to completely stupid. <laughs> Just want to get a comp competently stupid AI sarcasm. Oh, 
Um, so how about Gran Turismo 5? I don't know. How about Gran Turismo 5? Warm. Many people thought GT5 was bad. Who are these people? Oh yeah, I absolutely agree. There's a lot of weird design choices in that game, but I don't... I, it, I don't... I don't... I... I fucking love the shit out of GT5. I'm not surprised that uh, despite what happened earlier, the TVR managed to get itself into second. a true bad Gran Turismo game? I'm going to be honest, not really. Not At least not one that I can think of. There are some that have their own like grievances or things that aren't as good as the others, but I've never really believed that there has ever really been a truly bad Gran Turismo game, at least in my honest opinion. There is a bad Gran Turismo. Well, what is the bad Gran Turismo then? I'm curious. <laughs> it's a Gran Turismo for boys, but that game never released. So we went from doing the short version of New York and now we got to do the long version of New York. Okay, good. They weren't close enough. I was worried I'd get slammed into the back too or something. I'm about to get slammed into the back to now. Oh. Might have caused that a little bit.
They're keeping it close. And if the NFS Shift 2 is a bad Gran Turismo 5, why did I put 5 at the end? I mean, it's it's not like you were just talking about GT5 or something. Smile. Have a good night, Torrent. <laughs> the worst Gran Turismo is at Omega Boost. I mean, there's not even any cars in it. Prolifity really dropped the ball. Then that's not a Gran Turismo. Then that doesn't make it a Gran Turismo game, smile. Or two Grand Prix bad Grand Turismo game. See, there we go. I think uh, it's a little more on the nose, even though Motor Two Grand Prix is actually a pretty good game. Also, hello, Meister. The worst Grand Turismo is GT 2000. Ah, yes, glorified PlayStation PlayStation Two tech demo from like 2000, early 2000. It's only one car. It's like it's a. It's like the demos. Actually, no wait. Even actually, no wait. The G, the demos for GT one through three at the time actually gave, I think gave you more than one car to drive. S some were two. S some of them had two cars. Some of them even had three. Depending on the McLaren 12C, it's, it's a nice car. Torch Trophy doesn't have cars anyways. Oops, all bikes. Jesus, was I really that late on the brakes for that? <laughs> Gran Turismo HD is a bad Gran Turismo. It's just copy paste through GT4 with like one track. And s some cars. It's actually a shame we've never been able to uh, discuss to come across those uh, GTHD builds when it literally was just upscaled GT4. If those builds ever surface, I'd be like, oh. That to me would be a gold mine find. I know that it was play at, at like those earlier early showings of it. I know I'm pretty sure there was playable versions of it because I remember seeing like kiosks and stuff at like. So I'm pretty I, I'm very certain I believe it was and thing. 
Like, there's a lot of stuff from like those. I, I wish there was. I wish there was a greater tracking uh, process of a lot of those E3 builds. Like the GT2 build from E3 is no has never been surfaced, even though there's lots of footage of it. Like a lot of those E3 builds would be a fucking gold mine to find. They really should have just done that. Like I think that would have been a. I am. I'm not surprised. I'm surprised they didn't just. They didn't just think of doing that. Like, like if they should have just had a like G. They should have just released GTHD as like. GT4 with online support with like prop like online support like not like not like in a beta in the sense of a beta but like like something as a holdover title but alas I mean, it's possible, Sanuk, but no one. But it's possible, but we don't. We don't entirely know for sure. Yeah, there, there, are, there are strings of text and stuff that uh, for GT4 to indicate that the C, that it was going to initially be the debut for that C6 Corvette in a Gran Turismo game. Wouldn't be till GT5 Prologue that we got a C6, and even then that was uh, the Z06 model rather than the standard C6. The standard C6 has never has never showed up in Gran Turismo. Same. It's yeah. The fucking the, that uh, presentation of it. The same. Uh, the same uh, event as the uh, historically accurate giant enemy crab. C six was as early as two thousand four. That was like it, it, it had been a, like it was already a thing by the time GT four was released. My guess was that it was just a bit, it just, it came out, I'm guessing, maybe just a bit too late to make the cut. That's my belief. <laughs> Otherwise, Ripster wouldn't have a Corvette wait wrong franchise. Yeah, this is prob this is probably one of the earliest games to have a C6 Corvette thinking about it. Cuz this game is early is like uh, spring was spring 2005. So, and this game has the C6 in it, so Ella <laughs> swapped crab. It's one quick crab. I knew as soon as I got in that loose that that was going around. Oh, 
<laughs> Barra Swapper Riot. But we're we we're, we're, we out here driving a Ford Falcon. We're Ford Falcon. Is there a first game early? Is there a first game early installment weirdness franchise you think isn't worth revisiting? Uh, actually, we'll be honest. The track that the song that's playing right now, Burnout One. There's not really any real reason, unless you're just trying to go for achievements, like the retro achievements or something. It's not really a game that's worth revisiting, honestly. It's too, it's too, it's too stripped down and kind of just. It's very basic in comparison, doesn't have as much going for it. I, on the other hand, wouldn't know what to say because, like, I kind of love early franchise jank. I don't. Well, depends, I guess. I guess it depends. I Honestly, you know what? It's worse in racing games than it is in other genres. Because, like, all the games that come to mind for me are, like, old RPGs, like Pokemon and Final Fantasy. Forza Motorsport 2023 is a game with a lot of first game syndrome. Now, hold on a second. No, no, let him cook. Let him cook. Right. Suzuki fucking Jimmy. I can't do the voices properly. Suzuki fucking Jimmy. I, I think the only reason I can kind of do it is because I cough and, and clear my throat like a chain smoker, even though I've never smoked. This is a game fucking chimney. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> like that. Suzuki Jimmer. Well, uh, well, uh, Jimmy's not here right now. Try again uh, later. I wish I had a, a voice distorter so I could do the uh, the, the one video where he uh, basically does a giant Warhammer 40k reference. Hmm. Grew, I realized the weakness of my flesh and it disgusted me. You need to be constipated to make this voice properly. <laughs> Suzuki Suzuki Jamness or Jamness did, did, did you did you hear the uh, the the Dr. Nefario versus Gru rap track pretty, pretty sure I've been showing it before man that shit is that shit is fire like when the ocean has a shit ton of car batteries in it wait that's just real life oh You spend 40000 on a car that barely keeps with a regular Toyota Camry. I know I don't have the accent in there, but it's something similar to that. Oh, fuck. Screw you, fuck knuckle. What does it look like I'm doing? Always so addicting. Is how absurd it sounds. Yeah. The best part is if you listen to that guy, if, if you see that guy's other TikToks, they just regularly, they just talk like that all the goddamn time. That's just his voice. <laughs> just... Why insult me for having a fee at 126p? Who's insulting, who's insulting you for having a fee at 126p?
thanks. Really appreciate it, bud. Wow, that, that, that's a move and a half. That's a very much Nissan Ultima driver moment. Kick his ass. what you get. <laughs> Daft cunt had some doubt. Fucked around and found out. <laughs> Knowing from the surround sound, I figured the ME412 would do that. Just you anticipated the moment. Make sure not to botch this last upcoming last lap, and they should be fine. Okay. They're far enough back now that I shouldn't have to worry about being slammed in the ass again, hopefully. There, I was not slammed in the ass. Pounded in the butt by my butt. Pounded in the butt by my book. Pounded Thank, in the thanks, by Chunk my Ting. Butt. Thanks, uh, ch Chuckleless Tingler. Okay. I believe there's two more for this. At least I think this one's still seven. I think the next one after that, this after this is when it kicks into eight races. Is driving emotion or whatever the worst Gran Turismo game? I mean, it's definitely a viable contender. Ugh. Gotta set up a little bit.
Okay. Yeah, this one will definitely be shorter than the uh, Tokyo race because getting around, a, even though this is theoretically a longer track, getting because just all that extra speed takes a lot shorter lap times. And then there's six laps versus seven, so yeah, shorter than Tokyo. Anyways, it's interesting for me as a kid first seeing Forza through the game covers without seeing any gameplay. My gut feeling told me that it was some Gran Turismo game. You just kind of knew. I mean, I mean, with the OG, with OG Forza, you, all you got to do is look at the back, and you see that Forza mentions like all the manufacturers and stuff that are in this game. It's like, hmm, I wonder where I've seen that sort of flavor text before. It's like, it's not like they did the same on the GT2 and 3 back covers or something. Hell, I think they, I think they even did the same for GT4 and like other regions. Don't, don't think they did it here though, but you know. Was it? That was it. That was a move that did not work in the slightest. I wonder why it's not possible. Is, sh is, is it just the way the files are encrypted, maybe? Or just a format that's not yet fully understood? Do, do, they, not, do they not give you a, tran a data transfer for that game if you go to a new phone? Seriously? Or at least even with an account thing? Does it not, does it not just do that? I wouldn't know. I would say I don't play. I don't really play games on phones. So, it's weird. My gut feeling was right. Just thought Gran Turismo, but for Xbox, it does not. That's very dumb. Gran Turismo for Wii or Wii U. Just, just yeah. It's called emu emulate. It's called emulating PlayStation on the Wii Smile. Because that is technically possible. Is it the best way to experience it? Probably not, but you, you it is it is doable. Just like it's possible to, to do PS1 on the original Xbox somehow. Again, would I recommend it? No, but you you can theoretically do it. Game for pretty much nothing. I, yeah, that's that's kind of dumb. It's like all that stuff you do in the game, and you can't like fucking just transfer it over if you get a new phone. That's like what? It's pretty sounds pretty fun. That sounds pretty fucking stupid. Not gonna lie. I was able to transfer my data from one 
phone from another. I even once accessed my file on fucking... Uh, what was it, the... Not Blue Stacks, but the other emulator. Nox? Yeah, Nox, that's it. I was just trying to think, there's like, because there's like a whole bunch of those. I just don't really play mobile games because they just can't be bothered. Hopefully one day Nintendo switch on the Steam Deck. Give it time, I'm sure. This is fine. Okay, one more, I believe, for this for this championship, which means I gotta go to Ger time for Germany. Can't wait for SMT Five Vengeance. I have no. I don't know what the hell you just said. I don't know what that. I don't know what that is. This Ultra Das Open Park. Also, Shin Megami Tensei. Oh, okay. That would explain why I didn't know then. See, as, as difficult as of a track this may be, I find that the AI here tends to not be as competitive because of just... So, this one shouldn't be too much of a situation to deal with. At least, hopefully, you won't be. <laughs> Never agreeing Nord VPN. So I wish Nordschleife, I wish actual Nordschleife was this wide. That'd be nice. That would have been nicer. Jesus, that could have gone a lot worse. We're <laughs> getting in Forza, Monte Carlo, unfortunately, wider than the real track. Well, I mean, I'm 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 already I'm already not doing that, but by, by the fact that I actually painted my car a different color. And also, uh, unlike whoever was dro whoever the, that person was that was driving said car, uh, I actually uh, I actually did the, the sensible thing you do you should be doing with a Courage GT, and that's that's replacing the fucking tires.
Uh, oh yeah, the autumn vibe looks great for this track. I absolutely agree. Oh yeah, fucking Test Drive 2002. Just Monaco is just like four or five way lanes wide or something. It's just absurd. I actually could do a playthrough of that game. I actually could do a playthrough of that game pretty soon if I really wanted to. I know that game's actually perfectly emul. You could actually just emulate that game fine now on PS2. I know that game, for the longest time, uh, was weird with emulation, but I think those bugs have been resolved now. I want to say. Telling me rich people don't do car maintenance for the expensive cars? Yeah, ima ima imagine doing that. And yeah, like even though I, I do have the new CPU, I, that's another reason I still want a better GPUs for like looking at close, having a closer look at stuff like 360 and PS3 emulation. <laughs> Please, bur dir the birth derg is a week away. Help a dirk out. Smile. Or don't, I'm not your dad. Head moment. Look, I don't drink. I drink Pepsi. Hello, hello there. Uh 2004 Acura MDX. Oh, Jesus. I got curbed. And I'm drunk from all this water. All this... I hydrated so much. Oh no. On the 1 to 10 scale of excitement, how do you guys think Solar Crown will be fucked up? I mean, it's all, it's, isn't it already an always online game? So isn't it, hasn't it already been fucked up enough? Yeah, I was gonna say I'm just pretty sure I'm pretty sure that game is already confirmed to be an always online game, so it's like it's already pretty fucked up. Cause uh again Let the crew one be a remind let the state of the crew one be a reminder as to why always online needs to fucking stop. Just waiting for the actual game now. If it ever if it ever comes out at this fucking rate. It's cause they see games as disposable on a fest. They want you to play it for a period of time and then and then they want you to move on to the next thing. My anti-cheat. 
See, that's what they want. That's what they want to claim is the professional reason, but we all know it's just they just don't want us to play old games. Also, hello, Nightmare. Again, it's the reason I keep fucking talking about why I'm so, like, pres preserving games through is so fucking important. And I will continue to keep s expressing those opinions louder if I have to. Oh, like it helps half the time anyways. It really doesn't. They'll do it. They'll like be like, oh, we make this thing always online. It'll stop the, uh, the cheaters. <laughs> no, it doesn't. All right, I got a, I got a IMSA 550. That'll probably be what I use for the GTS championship when I get to that, because that'll be a better car for it. Okay, so that's... Okay, so this is the last one, then that's seven races, because after this it goes up to uh, eight races. And now we're up to nine of 15 completed in, in this league so far. Okay, North American Championship. I was gonna use the the Tiger Racing Mustang that I unlocked uh, before, so I'm gonna actually get around to doing that. All right, Alpine Ring first, or Spa upside down, as I think someone's claims that someone called it once. Oh, fucking heartburn. Ugh. <laughs> I'm never unseeing that now. Smile. At least there's no S7 in here from the looks of it. Actually, I don't think there would have been an S7 because it's GTS. Where burb? I don't know where burb. A spa upside down. Spa, but in Australia. Spa Australia. Burb was eating. Oh, it won't. It will not appear in this series. It's a chip. It's... The AI is always the same. Uh, you can even look at your opponent list before you enter it. There will not be an S7R in this series, thankfully. I'm like, S7... Are you out of your fucking mind? You have a good night, Hydros. Yeah, Celine S7R. This car is the car is very broke. There's the S7R in this game is very badly is very unbalanced. It's, it's like way it's like way faster than everything else. Oh yeah, it's a big old wing. I like I like cars with big wings. Downforce. Oh, I should have adjusted the downforce on this, but considering how I'm doing right now, it probably doesn't probably isn't that necessary. Oh boy, Ramon Sangson with the YouTube sub. Thank you for the subscribe on the YouTubes. Downforce with the sickness. Always necessary. You must not lift up. The car must the car must stay grounded at all times.
built from the downforce up. Yeah, we're we're we are most certainly zooming. This Mustang is very much holding its own. It's a, this car honestly drives. In all seriousness, this car drives really nice. Staying V8 forever until 2030. It's forever for now. Smile. <laughs> it's it's either that or it's it's one of those two. I'm sure. Keep my 04 MDX very much. I mean, I would hope so, or else you wouldn't be your namesake anymore. Smile. My whole thing with the, the the transition over to EV is not so much like I'm against the idea of them doing so, because obviously, if it's if it's if it's greener greener pastures and stuff, I I. Uh, I definitely understand the reason. My my more concern of it is like they're really trying to push for this time frame and it's like are we even going to ha fucking have the infrastructure for it? Cuz I feel like the the truth the I feel like the real truth of the matter is that we probably won't. I feel like the infrastructure won't be fully developed by that point yet. That's my concern. My biggest problem is that they're using EVs as an excuse to just decide, well, now we can make big cars and not feel any guilt. Smile and say, no, we still should be using fucking SUVs to do, to do grocery shopping. The fucking amount of car, like, vehicles getting, like, outrageously large on the roads, especially the trucks, it's like, I just sit there like, do you really need a fucking vehicle that big? Yeah, and it's like that energy still needs to come from somewhere. It's not tired. It's not clean until the power plants themselves are clean. And also, Which they're not. The and also, there's always the argument of the fact that lithium batteries on their own. Are yeah. Much simply put, they're 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 simply put, they're like really pushing hard for this, but we're not at a at a point where this. I feel like this could be truly sustainable. Like it's doing more harm than good. Yeah. Really does feel that way. I love the large vehicles with the headlights beaming right in the eyes because I'm driving a car. Like I can understand like the little smaller like crossover sort of things, like the like like the more like compact ones because. I understand that for a lot of people, it's not, it's, it's, a lot of it has to do with the ride height, like, how high you sit on the road. Some people, like, don't want to have, like, with like a lot of cars, you sit lower to the road, and, like, getting in and out is, like, can be more irritating and stuff as a result. Whereas, like, the little, uh, compact crossovers and stuff, it's much more straightforward. Also, I, I, I keep thinking about how, like, it's like so like I get it, it's just you know. Yeah, headspace as well. Sorry, what are you saying? 
I also keep thinking about how, like, the Corvette C8, their users that have reported getting these over 40 miles to the gallon on that thing. Yeah, it sure does. I mean, considering it's got two things going for it. A, some of the best aerodynamics you, you've dropped. The best aerodynamics you've ever seen in uh, a Chevrolet, possibly in any American car ever. And two, the feature that just shuts off half the cylinders and turns it into a four-cylinder whenever it doesn't need the extra juice. Right. <laughs> so it's like... If you want to like, extra ride height, get your CDL. What is a CDL? But yeah, no, it's funny just thinking like, yeah, everyone's talking about like saving... Everyone's saying like, oh yeah, I'm saving the planet. And I'm like, I think this boomer in his new Corvette is doing a better job. True. Oh, trucker's license. Like again, I uh, look. I I again, like I, I'm I understand the re I understand why some people really want those like, like like cro some people like cro getting crossovers and and I'm not talking about like the really big ones. I'm talking about like the more compact ones. Like I get it. It's the when it it's it's the really large vehicles is when I really start to sit there and think, do you really need this? Like if it's like a family or something and they have like a minivan or or whatnot or or they're carrying lots like loads and stuff where they need a vehicle of that sort of size, like that I get. The problem is nine times out of ten, people who buy those sorts of vehicles do not need vehicles that big. So modern trucks are just in general useless at being trucks. Modern trucks are fucking stupid. Uh, I'm just gonna say it. Yeah, no, modern trucks are modern. like the amount of trucks on the road that have become so comically large, it's like, why do you need something that size? The trucks are getting larger and yet their ability to actually do truck things are getting worse. It's yeah, the the like I feel like a lot, like a lot of a good use for trucks, like especially during like the ninety, like you know the later nineties to early two thousands when they were kind of like I I I would ironically say at their peak. In term is that they were a good enough they were a good enough size where yeah they were larger but they weren't like comically oversized, and they ha they were excellent they had excellent off roading capabilities when. When you need when that such a thing became necessary. Now we're getting to the point where fucking we're having trucks getting stuck on f fucking tiny sm small ass snow banked hills. You're, uh, yes, I'm looking at you, Tesla Cybertruck. Don't think I've not forgotten about that one video. The Tesla Cybertruck isn't even a real truck, man. It, think, it thinks it's part of the team, yo. Yeah, deceptively weirdo saying exactly why I want a Corvette. Deceptively good fuel mileage is always great. Yeah, if someone just gave me the keys to a C8 Corvette, I'd be like, uh, yes, please. Stop making me, stop making me want to play FM6 just to fuck with the Aztec. The fact that we did not get the Pontiac Aztec past Motorsport 6 is like fucking cowards. So thinking there was a time when I uh, was out on a bike ride and literally. Driving down my street was just a brand new C8 Corvette. Oh, I, 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 I did a lot of looking at that thing. Holy crap, those things are nice and worse. I've actually seen, um, it wasn't too long ago, so I, wanted to, I saw a C8 uh, Z06 on the road. Or as I like to call it, uh, uh, a, or as I like to call it, America's learned how to make a, how to make a better Ferrari. <laughs> Because <laughs> if you have ever listened to a Z06, like, just fucking put its foot down, that car sounds like a Ferrari. I'm not even kidding. It sounds better than the Ferrari, actually, I would argue. Who likes the Tesla Roaster back then? What, you mean the... What, you mean the only Tesla that's not, you know... <clears throat> I don't even like the Tesla Roadster. I think that thing 
despite its size, handles a little chunk. It's just an car to me. That's all I see it as. And I still remember when they were trying to, to like do doing these TV specials with with old brainlet muskrat himself, like talking about like look at how this thing out acceler is so much so much better at out accelerating other cars, and then they show it in an eighth mile drag race against the Dodge Viper, a car that is notorious for being terrible at drag racing because its suspension geometry just makes it not hook up the tires on the launch. Even my literally stock MDX can outperform a Cybertruck. It's just Canadian roads. Look, as someone who's very, very familiar with the, with the with the Canadian roads, me being, you know, and Canadian, uh, I have not seen one Cybertruck since, they, since those things launched, and I hope it stays that way. the C8, a Ferrari that you won't be sued for modifying. Exactly. Why not, why not, instead of instead of downgrading yourself, why not get a car that sounds better than a Ferrari, then if you actually want to customize it, G Chev Chevrolet won't, Chevrolet will just be like, shrug. Yeah, they won't try and send a cease and desist for customizing the physical automobile that you purchased and owned the EVs have potential, but Teslas don't make them appealing. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. I've seen I've seen those news things as well. Cybertruck's already rusting. It's like, how bad of a vehicle do you have to make when literally a vehicle that's not even been on the road for like a month it already starts rusting? Like, how bad of materials do you have to use to make a vehicle that bad? Stainless steel 50 cents of location books. Stainless steel they all bought from Dollar Tree. Yeah, they got they, they got the fucking wish.com stainless steel. Damn, that's what happens when you buy stainless steel on TMU. <laughs> Wish.com sustainable metal. Realized I could abbreviate cy Cybertrucks down to CBD CBTs. You sure can. It's McLaren levels of reliability. Look, McLarens can la can last fucking longer than that Cybertruck. Give it like, come on. I know McLarens aren't exactly a word for reliability, but they are still goddamn more reliable than a Cybertruck, right? Already. Half a sudden moment. Oh yeah, it's clearly all cherry pick stuff. They like that's how a lot of those comparison videos worked. It's not like actual like real world comparisons. It's comparisons purposely done to make their to make the vehicle they're trying to advertise look better in comparison. It's always all those things are cherry picked. That's why you can't really trust most of them. Doing drag race comparisons with Dodge Vipers, which is weirdo already mentioned, is, is a terrible choice for drag racing because it can't because the way its suspension geometry is means it makes it hard. For, that vehicle has a hard time actually hooking. Viper has no airbag. It sure doesn't. There we go. See, yes, I yes I did have a spin out earlier, but I'm already in the lead again. No, nothing, nothing to worry about. Nothing There's, to worry about. No. no, nothing to worry about. The Tiger Racing Mustang is back in business. Allow me to give you something to worry about, Bunker. Oh boy. 
because tonight on Bottom Gear, I, I die again. Thunder. Oh, oh, I broke it. Oops. <laughs> nice, sir. Nice job breaking it, hero. I broke it. It's all my fault. What's the Viper's rear suspension? Live axle, leaf, semi semi trailing. What is this? Actually, what is the rear suspension? Do you know, weirdo? Because you were talking about it. Uh, I see. I don't know the name of it. I just know that it was. It's not. It's not live axle. It's not just a single solid bar. Live axle is actually good for 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 uh, drag racing. It's the one where it's. All right, level 49. And there we have it. We ha we now possess an ME412. Chat, I'm sorry I broke the accordion. I promise there'll be a new one on the next stream. We're getting it, we're, get, we're just getting it uh, air mailed in. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna air mail it. Yeah, but it's a... Uh... Because it, it's got a form of independent rear suspension, but it only has like on one axis, so like... <clears throat> When the wheel, when the, when the suspension goes up or down, the wheel cambers in tune with it. That is why the Dodge Viper sucks in the drag race, because when it's accelerating hard, the wheels just camber hard, and then there's no, no t uh, actual tire touching the, uh, touching the pavement. Well, time so for 14 has, uh, laps of this. It has a, uh, a live rear axle. Oh, wait, that is live? I thought it was... Salt. I thought that was just when there was a single. Okay, maybe I'm. No, you. you might, might actually be, be right. No, you might be. actually be right. I might be getting my axle wrong. <coughs> Hold on, Google. Live rear. Axle. It's 14 laps, but it is a very short track, though. So. Like, see, standing start lap 40 seconds. So I don't know how well I do it. Also, uh, shout out Jungle Boy, right? Mm-hmm. Add a bat's music is a big hammer. But what I gather the rear suspension. Uh, the rear sort of drivetrain of the the rear axle of the of the Dodge Viper pivots around the, by the differential, and it doesn't have a second pivot point by around where the actual tires are. So. Yeah, so like I said, it just ends up being whoops, accidental camber all over the place. Oops. It's not bad for when you're turning because the way it causes the camber actually it, uh, does help it hook up quite a lot under under cornering. But the trade-off is that it is just dead-ass terrible. Yeah, I was about to say, camber when cornering is good. Camber in a straight line, not so No, you're you're good. Probably moved my microphone up just a smidge. Mm -hmm. But yeah, all that's at least my understanding of it. I will admit I am not the best guy to ask about suspension because I still time to try and tune suspension in any syndrome ever. It's just whoops, I accidentally made it worse. It's a very wacky thing to mess with. Actually, um, if I remember right, I, I could be mistaken. I could be misremembering this. So, chat, anybody who knows about doing, if what I'm about to say is incorrect, please correct me. But typically, don't you want to mess with the suspension last? 
or like in deck suspension turning last. Like before you fuck with the spring rates, for example, don't you wanna fuck with like the damping rates? Mess with camber, mess with aerodynamics, mess with well, maybe not differential, because your differential, if you fuck that up, uh, everything else goes to shit. Nice two-wheeling over that curb, by the way. Yeah, I mean, we gotta, gotta do a little bit of, gotta have a little bit of action. Yeah, very on W16. Actually! It's actually supposed to be a W18 originally. Where's my book? Where's my, where's my Gran Turismo book? Cars. Is this the tuning section? This is the tuning section. Uh, ooh, there's a whole section in this booklet over rotary engines. Mm -hmm. Delicious. D Dor the Dorito engines. Changing car settings according to car characteristics. Oh. This is about drive trains. Uh, getting the front and rear suspension balance correct. Yes, uh, I realize I haven't done, I haven't plugged myself yet. Uh, if you're new here and you enjoyed the stream, uh, please make sure to hit that follow button because it really does help out with the streaming and whatnot in terms of the support and uh, hopefully being able to see you all around. And if you do want to support the Derg in any way, so or fashion, there are multiple methods. You can uh, check out my tip link at exclamation mark tip in chat or just scroll down the stream and you'll find a, a clickable, I clickable image link. Uh, all same for Throne, you can check below the stream or also just type exclamation mark Throne. It's a privacy friendly wish list where you can send items without ever having to worry about uh, filling in any of your personal details because Throne just does all of that. And then there's, all, and there's of course as well, you can also be a tw become a Twitch sub if you so, if for some reason you want to do that. And, or if you just want to check out my community and how th see how things are going or or the little thing that I've built up, check out my Discord link, exclamation mark Discord at zero post to thank you. And yeah, or don't do any of that because I'm not your dad, but the options are there. I still want to become a Swin. <laughs> I still want to become a Twitch dom. <sighs> yes, yes. Gym's closed, college boy. Switch Twitch by Fluke. You could not have timed that any to make that noise any better as I like barely squeaked out a brand a new best lap. Lotus is a regular of my is is a long time regular uh, for me Acura I've known her for years
guess. It took a minute to find that. <laughs> Pull out us just under 37.4 on that final lap. It's really schmoving on that last one. Just, just been reminded of when Super GT made a tweet of GT7 disc laying on his PC case saying GT7 is now on PC. Sure is, sure, it sure is, smile. GT7 is now on the ColecoVision. Now the, um, GT7 is now on the Intellivision Amico. And if you can believe it, Tommy Tallarico is doing the music composition for it, and his mother is very His mother proud is of very him. proud of him, yeah. His mother is very proud of him. Wake me up when GT7 is on the Vectrex. Imagine, though, vector based graphics, GT7. Oh, oh, hello, what's this? I, I've just received a text message on my phone. Oh, the, boy. The individual is identifying himself as Mommy Tallarico. <laughs> Mommy the Tallarico. Message, the message reads, yes, I am very proud of my son. Okay, let me just play back. Your child is a scammer. GT7 is now on my old Pong machine. Yeah, and in VR, Pong, Pong was so successful that they made another one. Mommy tell, Mommy tell Rico Facebook status, feeling proud. And then they made another one, and another one, <laughs> and another one. Visit TommyTalarico.com. And another one. GT7 yeah. is now on the Gizmondo. And another one. There are like nine million fucking Pong consoles. I like how you threw a can for for comedic effect. Yeah, I had to slam down on my desk to emphasize my point. Uh, in case you're wondering, Mountain Dew Point Break Punch. Accidentally starts a Bitcoin farm. Me looking at my Bitcoin farm. Wow, this is fucking worthless. I know it's not actually worthless, worthless, but to me it's worthless. You should ask him. You should ask Kid Boga about uh, Easy Bitcoin Share. <laughs> I hear you get free Bitcoin for completing a maze. GT7 is now on my hard drive, Yar Har. I should even know I know who Tommy Tallarico is. Who's Tommy Tallarico? The son of a proud mother. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the son of a very proud mother. As an aside, did you all know that he had to sell his house recently? Oops. His house that his mother was very proud of? That's unfortunate. What are we going to do about the Pharaoh's curse? The, the room in this house that's just completely dedicated to Egyptian fuckery. Oof.mp3. I like how Twitch treat is treating oof.mp as a link, and then just the three just sits, sits there not lit up. How about that? Hey, we should all collectively make a donation to Thunder so he can buy Tommy Tallarico's house. I mean, I and could do then, that. I could do that, but then I would just buy a, a 4070 Super instead, because I need that. Well, yeah, you can buy that, too. We can, we can all go to Thunder's house, and we can watch uh, reviews for the new Forza Motorsport game in the theater room. <laughs> it's just like my house in Tower Unite. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Oof.mp3a spec. So it is. Get some popcorn. Man, James, I wish I was... I. Just, I won't lie, I wish I was still playing GT3 right now in comparison. Get some, get some, get a couple soda pops. Just have a nice time at the Grand Ole Opry. 
for Zaint. Risky click of the day. That's right, we're gonna Tommy Tallarico. <laughs> that episode of him on NTV of him in NTV Cribs was Pog Bro. When the professional league is talent cleanser for whatever this shit is. It kinda really is, TBH. At least this at least this the, the last few championships I've done have not been a, a complete pain in the ass. They've been been able to just kind of drive through just just race them and not have to deal with too much AI nonsense. So that's nice at least. Unfortunately, NFS, we're still a couple of games out, but when Thunder gets to Forza Motorsport 3, I'm going to force him at gunpoint to drive the Toyota Igo Plus. Why, spe why specifically Forza 3? Is that when the car first appears? I'm pretty sure the Plus model is only in Forza 3. Is it? Is it? I think. Because it, it was one of those starter cars that you could get at the beginning of the game, those weird starter cars. Hmm. I mean, like... like like I said, like when I actually get to those four as a games, I'll actually probably be having more fun. For legal reasons, by the way, this was a joke. I am not actually holding Thunder at gunpoint. No, it's the holding me at gunpoint. He's holding me at gunpoint. The only way I'll I'm be for holding... the only way I'm I will be free. Both of you at gunpoint. The only way I will be freed from gunpoint is 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 with the. Uh, Inquisition, acquisition of a 4070 super smile. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, obviously. I will release you from gunpoint and then you give me your toes. No! Blink twice if you need help. Hit him a PS5. Well, I mean, look. I, I will accept that as a secondary offer, but I'm concerned about the lively... I'm, confer, I'm confirmed... I'm conf, what the fuck? I need to reword this. I'm concerned, excuse me, about how long my G my current GPU is going to last. Like, genuinely concerned after, as of recent, because, due to uh, recent events with it. Okay, a couple things. One, I'm concerned about your GPU. Two, I'm concerned that order is holding you at tow point. Three, James is holding himself at gunpoint. I'm holding gun at me point. <laughs> that was the wrong clip. <laughs> that works better, though. The correct clip I was going to play was. Yes. Is turn 10 forcing me at gunpoint? No. No, McLaren, they're holding you. Uh, they're holding you at gunpoint from the ground up. Yeah, like I'm sure if I just like opened up my GPU and like replaced the thermal paste, that might help. But, uh, I've never done that. I've never had to do that before with a fucking GPU. The more you know. I don't even know if I- I don't even know if- I don't even- I would probably need, like, rubbing alcohol, and I don't have that. The closest thing I have is hand sanitizer, which has, a, like, a, a pretty good percentage of it, but it's not the same as just straight up rubbing alcohol. Maybe I'll have to- Maybe I'll just have to try with my old CPU cooler that uh, I took out when I uh, took out the 2700X and just test it on that. I was about to say, do you actually know how to put the thermal paste on your GPU? I mean, I'd have to like open up the GPU and just access where it is. Like it, it I've seen videos. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be that hard to do. I would just need to like open up, open up the thing, take off like the heat, all the heat sink bit, and then just like clean up. And then just like use uh, isopropyl alcohol and Q-tips to uh, clean up uh, whatever's what clean up what's there, and then just apply new paste, and then just put everything back together. Back together. Wouldn't be very hard. It wouldn't be very hard to do. I would just have to. I would just prefer to. It's just I would just prefer to get a new GPU, obviously, because my 2070 is already becoming a bottleneck. I, like I, I can't even run Motorfest right now at max, at max, uh, at max at t at 1080p without frame, without uh, 
it, it, like it, it gets close to a per, to a to a complete six. It gets close to a a constant sixty, but it's not quite there. If I bring it down to like high, at least around high or medium high settings, it it, it can it can keep at sixty FPS. Yes, I have an e, I have an Evga. It has lights. You might just need to remove a couple of cables, James says. Other than that, open. It has no lights. Mustard. Remustered clothes sandwich. It doesn't. My car doesn't have any lights. Also, oh baby, Holy Mountain Raceway. The 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 4070 Super that I'm actually looking at, I don't believe has any lights either. I don't care about lights on a GPU. I just care that it does GPU things and does it well. And again, it's why I want the 4070 Super because it would be that would be a really good card to keep me good for a while. Since I mostly still just do 1080p stuff. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. We are back on Bathurst and... Yeah, like, I'll probably test, like, the hand sanitizer that's lying around with the, like, the... With, like, the old CPU cooler that's just been, like, sitting... Sitting by my, uh... Sitting by my, uh... Sitting in my kitchen area ever since I took it out last week. I've been giggling for a, a minute at this I'll fucking image that I made your post and then the super secret response in response to me getting the fucking book out. I was actually initially concerned because concerned when I took that old cooler out, the CPU came with it. But uh, I looked at the, the pins on the CPU on the 2700X. I believe it. I believe it all still looks okay. There's like one section where there's like a little black speck of something that kind of seems jammed there. I think it's just like dust, like a thing of dust or something. But every, but yeah, the pin, none of the pins on the on the 2700X looks like they got bent when I took it out. Thankfully. If I had, if, if, if I had, if I was given, like, the, the sort of fuck-off money to just get a new computer, I probably would just go up, up to a AM5 platform. And yes, I was, and yes, I would still consider switch keeping with Ryzen because I know, I know those current Intels, they, they run at amazing clock speeds, but my God, are they also very power consuming. Yeah, it's like how much I consume, uh, soda. Because I am what you would call a caffeine fiend. A caffeine? Yes. Yeah, like I said, like I don't, I don't think a whole new build's happening anytime soon. So that's why I want to just get certain parts upgraded, so I can at least get more out of this machine. I do have audio ducking enabled. That is, yeah, that's an, that's a, that's a thing you can set up in OBS. I, I do that because like whenever I like speaking or something just to make it's just so like I'm not being drained out by like death like the music or the uh, the game or anything Thunder yes do you wear sunglasses at night I haven't worn sunglasses in ages Have you ever driven on the road with sunglasses at night? No. No. Why? Uh, just, just wonder. Okay. God, that fucking cat like went for the went for the move. So I can so I can keep track of the visions in my eyes. 
speaking of sunglasses and driving, I almost forgot my regular gra gl grasses. Yes, glasses, glasses in my driving instructor's car this morning. Oops. You forgot your grass. Don't, Don't switch the blade on the guy in the shades. Oh, oh no. no. Anyways, it'll be. I'm sure it'll be fine. He'll be. Anyways, the new Daisy Sandero. Hmm. Important announcement. Yes. The Dacia is back. Ooh. The, the Nurburgring Dacia Logan is back. Nice. And apparently it's going to be <laughs> running all of the rounds of this year's BLN series. I think it's BLN. Damn, they're committing. Thank yeah. goodness, anyway. <laughs> managed to get them back, thankfully I told him, well, that's good. I'm so glad to see them back. That was my favorite card to watch during the 24 hour, was that fucking Dacia. Just, people just, just, just like a team, just bringing in like a silly car like that, or just decide, we're, we're gonna run, we're gonna do an endurance, it's just, I always love shit like that. It's just a bunch of guys getting together, doing dumb shit doing what they want to do, you know? It's like, it, it's kind of like the spirit of Lemons Racing, but it's on a more official scale. Mm -hmm. It's how I would run it. It's how I would run a, it's how I would run a race team, TBH. Clearly, we should uh, pool our funds together and go fund a car in Lemons. <laughs> Yeah, the Thunder THR racing team. There's a couple guys getting a race going. We would be uh, going for a joyride, so to speak. Wait just a fucking minute. Now, now hold, now hold on a gosh darn second. I... I'm only now noticing what the song just changed over to. I thought you were saying that because of the song that it changed over to. I wasn't. Well, congratulations. I was listening to that song on my own a couple of minutes ago. And now... And now it's on your stream. You streamed it, you streamed it to my playlist. Even yes. though it's already been, even though it's already been a part of my playlist for ages now. What you don't know is that I can communicate telepathic messages to your uh, music player. I almost said to your computer, but no, no, that's a little, that's a little far out of my range. Yeah, Blue Mountains just really seems to be like one of those tracks where the AI just tends to do a lot better on than others. Because I've been unable to like really f completely break from the pack. I haven't like I haven't have to worry too much about my position being threatened, but definitely one of these tracks where the AI just tends to be on it. The Tiger Racing Mustang is uh, a good choice. This car drives really goddamn nicely, to be honest. If I remember right, that car did relatively well in um, Speed GT. Nice. Yeah, at least there's no fucking Selena 7. I was about to say, if we want to get technical, I can make the argument that the car you're driving is a Selene. I mean, it's not close S7. enough. AI racing lines needed more time in the Forza oven. Tell McLaren it's a um, it, it's an S3. It's a saline S3. Unfortunately, when you divide seven, you get 3.5. So I'm rounding it down.
giving this one, really trying to give this as much of a push as I can to just, to just make sure. Because you can never be too sure, too, too, too certain. Especially at this fucking track. Chill stream. I mean, definitely. I mean, it probably is because I started a bit later and everything. Because I was, I was gonna start more at my usual time, but then I kind of zoned out for a while. So. Which is weird, because it's not like I was, like, overly tired or anything. I just did that. Oh, well. I kind of got totally checked out for a minute there. Yeah, my brain checked out during that time. That's understandable. Right, so, I mean, it's, it could be worse. Still, it could be worse. Oh, boy. Road America. Yep. This one actually shouldn't be. This one. This one will probably be better. Enjoy. Oh Jesus! Can't wait for Road Eurasia. Where's Where's VIR Patriot? His uh, his Pojo had an error and it needed to close. Track map looks like someone's pants they left on the floor. Well, I'm not going to be able to unsee that now. Pants on the ground, pants on the ground. You look at like a fool with your pants on the ground. Pull your pants up. Get the belt. Pants on the ground up. Oh, fuck yeah, Sargento. Cheese. My favorite. I love that billboard. Pants on the ground below. Gear shifter out. I mean, huh? Put it, put it away. Put that thing away. This is a PG-13 stream. Since when? Was good call. AO Horizon Force True No Shifting Animation. I'm not familiar with that shifting animation. I'm assuming it's not the best animation. I was honestly worried I was gonna get hit in the back there. Also, hey, the FH4 True ML, the car I got banned for. Oof. If you all remember that silly story. Oh, no. I broke the laws of time and space to get tofu. Oh, Jesus. And the British punished me for it. Jesus Christ. Pretty patch you reach it to your crotch whenever you shifted, literally jerking yourself off to the 86. Oh. Nightmare, that's called the um it's called the Papega shifting technique. Average surface level JDM fanboy be like. What's a Toyota 86? I fucking love the Scion FRS. Damn it. Why do I have to have a slight off and now all of a sudden... I said this wasn't... I didn't think this was going to be a problem and now I think it's going to be a problem. This game that makes no sense. Works. We could be driving at Silverstone. Yeah, I, 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 I kill Sisashu. You 
Captain Kavermeister. Is everything good? What did Sue do to you, SMH? That, Yo. Yeah, what did Sue do to you? Yo, Brad Ickel skish you, bro. Ex fucking excuse me. I said it was a Rad Ickle skish you. Meanwhile, Zero begins his plot to assassinate Weirdo. No, no, that that comes in uh, that comes in the year 2030. <laughs> why, why specifically 2030? We're, we're six years we're six years gone. We're six years away from that. Ah, uh, yeah, I can't wait to die. Let's go. The Great Hot Dog Wars of 2030. <laughs> hot Dog Wars. I'm not paying a thousand bucks for a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is, this is turning into, this game is doing the thing again where it's turning into one of those. Nice job, Viper. We're <laughs> putting you pigs in a blanket. <laughs> Fresh from yesterday. You can see the hot dog was cooked from the ground up. It's insulting. We're, we're, put, we're putting you pigs in blanket. That's insulting. We're not cops. Are yeah, I'm just sure? gonna have to re. I'm just gonna have to fucking redo this because the game's just doing the thing again with the AI. My favorite. Get the thought I was free of it, but I, but I'm not. Only outroad America. Only in fucking Wisconsin. I could never be truly free of the pain. You seem to like pain. I don't what is actually. What's that guy doing? What is he? What the fuck was that guy doing? I don't know. You're legally not lot not allowed to win without eating a stick of Sargento string cheese. Okay, but unironically, Sargento cheese is kind of good. Although I, I prefer mine uh, melted. Sometimes when I'm making homemade pizza, I'll take like the little string cheeses and uh, try to stuff them into the crust and make a homemade stuffed crust. It's good use for it. it. It's a really good use for it. Yeah, that was syntax. Syntax. So this is the honest mistakes that Turn 10 was talking about for the AI. Yeah, the honest mistake was that they didn't get their uh, daily allowance of uh, calcium and uh, dairy. Kind of different topic, but I kind of noticed with GT7, some of the weekly stuff seems to involve Daytona in some capacity. They're getting their Daytona, they're getting their fix of Daytona this week, apparently. You know, this might seem like a bit of a weird thing to mention, mm -hmm. but um, is it bad that I want to look into a uh, Sega Saturn emulation at one point? Again. I mean, I'm sure it's in a better place these days compared to even a few years ago, I, sus I would suspect. It's been very on and off for me, but there's... I want to try uh, the version of Daytona USA that they ported over to the Saturn. Mm-hmm. I just 
watching a, uh, a YouTube channel cover the Circuit Edition that they released in Japan the other day. Yeah. And it was a really interesting little review. The game looks interesting, has some exclusive content. Looks like it might be a fun little romp. Uh, I would also like to try out Sega Touring Car Championship so I can properly make a judgment on that. Fair. Since that game is a bit divisive. how it seems like I do the next this attempt and now suddenly now I'm back in happier lands back in the excellent lands indeed on my Amazon package, so I skinned his ass alive. Shit ain't nothing to me. Makes me wonder how Horizon's physics complexity is compared to the early motorsport titles. I swear to God, if it turned into an S7R, I'd be like, Ugh. I know that car is going to be coming up again soon. I just know it. But for now, we are not. For now, it is. We're not. We're not quite there yet. Fuck! Unfortunately, uh, I think I'm going to walk off and head to bed. I'm feeling a bit tired. Oh, okay. I just want to pop in for a second. Yeah, that's 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 fair. Wish you a good rest of the stream and whatnot. Yeah, you have a good one. Be advised. Be advised. Ground up. Zero is feeling heavy. <laughs> Accurate. Yeah, you can still hear this having a little bit. Bud? I tried to say bud and boot at the same time. Congratulations. Bed from the bud up. from the head up. Can I have one, please? Smile. <laughs> oh, wait, how come I... Oh... Or, or wait a second. I, I, I see why now. I missed Meister's uh, follow-up message at first. But hell yeah, brother! Oh, 
getting them pets. Okay. All right, well, there we go. Now that just leaves us again back to Germany. Oh, my God. in the fucking burgering again. Sure are. Your durgring. Any germ burgerings? What? Sir, excuse you. That was a that was a deliberate attempt at a murder that uh, didn't work out for them. I don't know. I don't know what it is that I did to them, but they were just mad at me, apparently. Come on, guys. Easy. Stop trying to execute me. if IRL NER was one-to-one -one with FM1's less fatalities. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Deforested. At least now I'm actually free, free from the other vehicles, so... At least it's at least it's not right now. Song is appropriate. Yeah, I can see it. Rebel tree. Salute. Oh, seven emote. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we're f we 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 sh moving. I will admit the way I kind of kind of went onto that curb God, that could have gone so much worse, but thankfully everything stayed together. Thankfully, FM1. Thankfully, FM1? Why thankfully? Oh, hello, Tumki. The speed and power. Ugh. Unfortunately, FM1. Imagine extracting this track's 3D, this track's 3D model over to Blender, and then comparing it over to another version, like I said, over GTs. It would be very silly. Apathetically, FM1. Excuse me. We are, yes, hello, Nick. We out here neoming. Poggingly FM1. Hello, Turbo. Damn. <laughs> I like how that's just my name now, too. Thundy Undies. Yeah, I'm doing okay. I know I know it's a later start for me than usual, but just I was just like I for some reason kind of just like snoozed off around the time I was originally planning to start. And by, by the time I woke up, I was like, "Eh, I'm, I'm, I should still stream anyways." Cuz like I was originally this was originally supposed to be a Wednesday stream, but then I moved it back because I was like I wasn't like I was kind of physically out of it that day, so I was like, I didn't, I didn't want to push it back another day, so here we are. Mr. Dergy Woggies. That's a name. Fuck! And that's a wall. Now I know. Hoggy Woggy. God damn. Do me like that. A tactical distraction right there. Sure is. He was the true final boss of Need for Speed Underground. Uh oh, hi, you made and fuck you get time to get in the forever box. Not the forever box. That's a name right there. Fuck. Final words before disaster. Wouldn't be the first time. I don't think I have that sort of energy right now. I'm not at a point where I need, where I have to have a, an, a, a proper Kurt Bush. Fuck! Not, not, not there right now. Hopefully, I don't get to that point because I would prefer not to. Hey. 
back. It's time for Thunder THR Radio, sweetheart. Now that was part four. All right. Well, there's another series done, and we get the cor the Corvette that had been most chasing us through that during that as our prize car. Kurt Bursch is F-bomb, but it's perfectly cut. <gasps> Fuck! Massive. All right. Well, that's, that's all the ones that are seven races. Now, at this point, we have two that are eight races, these ones. Then we have one, two more, that'll be nine races. And then this last one is 10. Okay, uh, now I just used this, uh, Mustang. I don't want to use it again. So, much, so switch vehicles for the next one. I'm almost actually tempted to try the fucking NSX. I'm actually, actually, I want to see how this will do. I want to see if this will actually be usable. Whoops, hang on, not there yet. Ah. I have 10 of 15 complete and we're about, so we're about, we're about 80% into the career so far. Oh boy, this one's gonna have two laps of the, of the Nordschleife. Why Maple Valley 2 again? Oh, I get to start at the very back now. Mean to do that. Je Jesus, guys. This would go better if I wasn't constantly being executed. Damn, that's a big boy! Looks like those replicas you see at the Red Bull downhill cart races. It really does, though. No! Thanks, game. Well, this has gone well. Oh Jesus. Well, I guess aggressive I guess I guess aggressive is one way to do it, I suppose. Oi, 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 Jesus Christ. Well, we're free. We are free of the the carnage.
accurate. Uh, I feel the pain of the puns. I felt the pain of reading those puns. Oh yeah, the NSX is the NSX. I think should be more than viable enough. At least here on Maple Valley, it's uh, I've already got quite a substantial lead. Why no Twisted Metal OST? Because I've not gotten around to listening to those yet. There you go. Sub thirty-eight second time. See, on this track, I can pretty much do the same sort of lap times I was doing uh, when I u was using the Tiger Racing Mustang. Like, I think the, like, I think that Corvette I unlocked would have been a better choice, but I really did want to see if, how, would, how this NSX would do. I was genuinely curious if, if this would be usable enough. It seems it'll be usable enough. Between this game and Gran Turismo 4, why is GT4 way better? Hmm, I fucking wonder why. Smile. Although, that being said, uh, Nightmare does bring up a very good point. Very good... A very good point as to why GT4 is better. Smile. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We're good. Also, Sakuba in GT4 has grass. Yeah, it's uh, at least in at least in GT4 and at Sakuba, I can actually touch grass. Can't do that here. It's just all sand and death. I put Sakuba in Willow Springs. I mean, if Sakuba shows that comes up during this, uh, like, uh, you'll you'll probably see what I mean, what, what I'm like saying, what kind of like referring to. Yeah, the customization was one of the, the big strengths of like early fours, especially at the time. Like, but uh, yeah, like in terms of like other part, like the more like serious aspects of the game in terms of like aging well, I feel like fours are just ha kind of struggles a bit more in that department and you you feel it when you play this game in particular like again I, I this is I'm not saying this is a bad game I I have to keep I have to keep re re reiterating that because I don't want people to think that this game is just bad is bad because it's not it's just compared to the later forces it's just it just doesn't hold a candle Need to update delivery editor. All the expert painters say it takes skill. God, just it just the, the, it's just triggering the, the nightmares. 
and, and I mean like you sorry I, I what I say that I should mean like you know the actual like what an actual nightmare not the, the, the I should have realized that because of the user I'm just brain confusion for as experts when they reached the age of 70 was it worth spending all that time Turbo. Meanwhile, Turbo in the back road, smiling because he no longer because he no longer has to do that anymore. He just looks at it like four is delivery editing. What's what's that? It's like that ain't, that ain't nothing I ain't do. So close to my best lap. SVG importers and Photoshop editors. Livery editor in 2070. Pay for game, pay for first car, pay for wheels one through four, pay for livery editor, pay for brush, pay for one color. This, this damn it, cost would stop mentioning the dystopian night. Stop mentioning the dystopian nightmares. Actually, why would I care? I'll probably be dead before 2070 arrives. Smile. For context, if I make it to 2070, I would be 75. Stop it, Automod. Real men take five million abstract sh shapes to make a logo. A, a logo that a logo that only fills a logo that that just uh, that's about the size of uh, the gas flap on a car. to move the cursor up. God! I came in there way too hot. Ow! Press that Porsche for attempted murder. God damn. See? Menace! Just predicted that one pretty well. Well, anyways, W. So yeah, the, the second race in, we're gonna we're gonna hit max level. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it to that promised land that is level 50, and then no, and then no more. Cause, oops, no more levels. Oops, you cannot have any. You cannot have the level anymore. Oh, excuse me.
there was there was a there was a, there was a little bit uh, there was a tiny little kerfuffle. Where's my level 999 ninth prestige star patch? <laughs> Imagine. Sarah, that's not where the the track goes. Oh. Yeah, the NSX seems to be doing pretty well so far, I'd say. Seems to be a capable car. Like how right now I'm chasing down a fucking Volvo. underestimating the Volvo I'm just saying I like how that's the vehicle that seems to be like the top vehicle here right now is a Volvo there we go found the way around Reminded of those fake vents and wide body bolt vinyl groups I first saw at FM4. Probably, oh yeah, that, they're absolutely still around on certain liveries. That's very much still a thing. Imagine the HQ models originating in the, in the on original Xbox. I mean, isn't that already what they do? Smile. That would have definitely been more annoying. Like that would have been, like, because this is this is a much more egregiously bad model. But thankfully, this this one they they came to their senses with. Now, if only they could do the same for some of the other ones. That's grass. Honda Civic SIEM one. I'm glad it stopped putting that new Forza's. That model's ugly. I have to look at it again because I don't remember how I don't remember how bad it is. That that particular one. I don't remember it looking that bad, at least to my untrained eyes. But then again, untrained eyes. So maybe I'm not seeing it clearly enough.
Ay, ay, ay. Polyphony used diecast models for some of their cars during GT3 and 4 and it shows. Yeah, some of the some of the ones you could tell like even in GT3 like looked a bit off and then they would use like I know the Viper in particular GT the GT4 model is not the same as the GT3 model. Same with the RX7 FD different model. It's actually actually a very interesting thing too I know I learned as well from uh Back in the day, but GT4 Prologue, when it first released in Japan, that it, it was still using the GT3 model for the Viper. But in the PAL version, because that came out a little bit later, that actually uses the updated model. The G, that, that uses the eventual GT4 model for the Viper in, in that game, in the PAL version. But in the Japanese version, it's still the, the GT3 model. nitpicky on their models than I am well considering their whole philosophy about trying to like build the models to, so that they can be like still be you good enough for the late for the for the games in the future I think that's that's kind of where there are where that's kind of where they are now and why their models are so absurdly good because they're because they're tr I don't think they want to fall on their I don't think they want to go back to that whole standard model stuff again like ever so so, and I mean, on one hand, it's, it can be frustrating having to wait such a while for cars, but on the other hand, like, I, I can respect the efforts because, like, it shows that they want to make sure that those models will be good so that come future games, they don't have to start, like, replacing them all again. Like, they can, I'm sure they can, like, fix and maybe tweak things around to continue to make them, you know, even better, but they already now have a good, a good base slip, so... It, it down the line it'll it'll save them all that extra time did they ever respond to is there is dms i don't i wouldn't know in the sex. Damn. Can't believe they put the Honda in the sex. Hello, JC. I let you laser can lit. <clears throat> I let you laser scan my car. Please respond. They put the Honda in the sex. They put the Honda in the sex. They put the Honda in the sex. Another long day. I would say it was a long day for me, but I spent uh, more more of it today snoozing than I was anticipating, so. I hope during this entire time that my GPU fans haven't been, like, going up again, going on again. I don't think they have. I'm not, like, actually, I'm not, like playing like an actual game on the computer so, so usually it's not it should never be that bad because it's only really with cert with motorfest and i think i once heard it for tc2 but just once 
It only really seems to be with that game in particular where it happens, so it's just... I do... I just need... Either I just need to put new paste in, in the GPU, or better yet, I just need a new GPU. There we go. We finally have done it. We have now hit level 50. There are no more rewards after this, but hey, for level 50, we get a fucking speed 12. It goes off on a high. But hey, I mean, the fact that we, you know, the fact that we get the, uh, the fact that we get the TVR is always nice. It is in tournament illegal. Sir, sir, that's not where the track goes. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking of that photo of Jack Black flipping the bird after he won the Speed 12 in PGR 2. It's one of my favorite pictures. Just the fact that that it's just a picture of Jack Black get, having gotten the Speed 12 and. I'm, and then just flipping the flipping the bird. It's crazy to me the thought that Jack Black is good enough to get the speed twelve. Because Jesus Christ, that's one of the hardest things I've ever done in a racing game. I, I, I the fact that he just was like he even he even played that and played it enough to get to that point it just makes me happy that they're just thinking about it oh well, he is i know there's secretly a boss ass wheel man to get the speech well pgr2 oh why are you hitting the brakes there oh fucking sakes dude <laughs> fucking incompetent ass ai go break kind of get through the pack quick a bit quicker this time back up to this Corvette so you better not do it again don't you do it don't you fucking do it all right we're all right I mean I've found I found the, the, the way to get through hello quickie mart that we're in front. Now I just gotta make sure I don't do a me on Maple Valley, full Maple Valley and botch something.
Considering the car that I'm in, it shouldn't be that bad, to be honest, because, you know, and race car. Stupid itch. Built from Forza Motorsport 2005 up. It does look pretty familiar though, yeah. How much of GT1 stuff is still in GT7? I mean, there's at least one thing. Like, there, at least, there's still the countdown sound smile. That's still that's still the same from GT. Well, it's probably been re. They probably knew. They probably changed the dynamics on it because of, you know, but it's still technically the same sound. Even if the dynamics on it are probably different. But it would have actually been hilarious if fucking just GT7 still using the fucking tire sounds from GT1. So far, we're looking pretty good, at least. That's fast F1 and GT5. People to figure out how to mod vehicles in the GT5. That actually would have been funny. Like, they wouldn't have called them standard cars. They would have just called them. They would have just called them retro cars. Have a third class. Standard premium, and then retro. You have retro, a new uh, one thing below standard. You just have retro. Java cars in GT5 one. Suzuki also works got you covered. Boxy pixel machine. Man, look at this box. Look at all these pic glorious pixels. Fucking pre uh, pre GT5 patches version of the Suzuki Alta Works, where the car was just broken. A lot of people still, a lot of people think because of that old image that the car just always looks like that in GT5. It doesn't. It looked like it looked like that at first because it was, uh, you know, just kind of ported up incorrectly. But they did actually fix it to look more like the actual model. How the actual model is. The actual model they have of that vehicle. Oh, 
I couldn't afford to get you a model this year, so I got you this box. Right, nice glorious box. Finds RTX 4070 Super in the box. Smile. I kid. Or do I? Nah, actually, I kind of do, kid. Forgot about the semi-premium models. I, I'll, I don't think the Altiworks got an update in GT6. I think it's just the same as the GT5 model, I want to say. Unless it did and I'm just stupid. But I don't think it did. I know that there were some models that they updated. I don't, I don't, but I don't think the Alta Works was one of them. Oh yeah, the the updated Formula GT model for GT6 was pretty was a was a they did a pretty good job with that one. I especially just liked how they like just gave a whole like they didn't just update it like the model stuff. They also gave it like new colors and new color waves and whatnot. Just with a real stand up comedy simulator. Oops. Also's in GT6 got their noses up. To so it's a basic, so quite literally a facelift. plastic surgery. Well, I'll admit that was a fairly painless. It was a that was not that was a mostly painless run through uh, Maple Valley. Didn't even get a damage penalty for that one. So that's so that's always nice. is this picture that Nightmare posted earlier of that fucking co mo Is that supposed to be a Hot Wheels model? Because whatever it is, it don't look... Whatever it is, it don't look that good. McDonald's Hot Wheels model. Ah, that, ex that explains it. Yeah, it's a it, it, it look it looks it looks a bit scuffed. And I don't just mean the fact that the paint was flake was coming off was chipping off of it too. It just happens to old mo old childhood models that you have of things. I might have been a little bit forceful for that with that one, but. 
had to find had to find my way through. JC, you ain't missing nothing. Especially as of late, you really ain't missing nothing. You ain't missing nothing. You're not. Jace, it's... Dude, there are way fucking better places you can get... Uh, you can get burgers than there. Okay, hopefully now that I've broken through, I can try and get that fucking... That fucking... Uh, Volvo up there. Eat Wendy's like three times a week. See, better you you you've already chosen a better option. At least hope. At least hopefully. You, and I'm not just. I'm not. We're getting some. Oh. Square burgers op. I wouldn't be surprised if it if the Rio track was meant to be somewhat Long Beach inspired. Burger should be triangular, really. That's the only way to eat a half boy go. I feel like that's not true. Yes, it is. Actually, you're right. We need the track as well as burger. Wendy's is more affordable, but the actual burger I get is just lame. I mean. With all due respect, hey, JC, if you were to get a McDonald's burger, it'd be worse. Just that, whatever you do. Did, did you just post a grilled cheese, but as a burger? Whatever you do, whatever you do. Don't eat the raw rhombus of raw meat. That shit's awful. Something like that. I can't get def I can definitely catch this Volvo. I just need to just need to do it. into the slipstream of that Volvo. One thing that Volvo has really going for it is that thing has really fucking good acceleration. I remember I remember that car in particular having really strong acceleration. close to it. Going on the inside. There we go. The, the move has been executed. Oh, 
only ever known the Krabby Patty fruit gummies. I'm sorry. That fucking Volvo would be schmoovin'. Did let off though, whereas I didn't. Do those paint scratch marks on the barriers ever continue past FM1? I honestly don't know. I don't recall. At least I never really looked. I never really tried to look out for it in other games, though. So I'm not 100% sure. Close. I'm excited to play another game on stream. What do you what do you think? damage model in this is still the best in the whole series ironically it got downgraded through each title i remember too they were trying to make a big deal about the damage in fm8 the new fm forza was supposed to be better and then that turned and then that too turned out to be a lie yeah just call that for me we know what that truth is Every th they are permanent. None. none what, what's that? You want parts coming off the car? Nah, we can't be bothered to do that. Oh, oops. Did not mean to do that. Just dents and scratches, but hey, there's at least scratch decals on the wheels now. Wow! What a what an improvement. S sarcasm. How visible are those when the wheels are spinning? That's exactly like what what are things I'm like, like look, scratch wheels on scratches on the wheels and stuff is kind of cool, but when you're actually racing and stuff, how are you? How often are you going to be looking at that? Let alone when your car is moving and in operation. Jesus Christ. Oh. Fuck sakes, dude.
Well, at least I don't, at least I don't, at least I don't have to, it's a championship, at least I don't have to win, at least I don't have to win every race in this. Damn, I can't, couldn't snipe that. But yeah, like I don't have to win every race, so I'm just gonna keep I'm just gonna keep going. Like I'm at the point in the game now where where like I can I can get away with doing that. AI incompetence. Oh, really? That fucking tap. That fucking tap is put steering, put steering damage into my car. Really? Oi, oi, fucking vey. For fuck's sakes, can can you fucking drive AI? Can you like stop swerving around like a bunch of a bunch of fucking pests? Oh my god! Call them shitters. Call them poop eaters. Tell them that they take the poo poo and they eat the poo poo. There, finally got th around that nonsense. Yeah, they sure they sure do, PK. That's all these years later in truth deep down in some aspects truly nothing has changed. Might have accidentally caused a murder. Back in part two, part two, I want to say I think that was the last time because I did all those point-to-point -point ones earlier on. Fuck it, I don't care. I got, I got to make my way up. Mind AI. <sighs> fucking, fucking Christ! I can't get off the fucking AI. Any time they get on your rear quarter panel, the game just seizes up all control. Starting to get back to that point again with the AI, which is where it just start. It's starting to grate on my nerves again.
Maybe that's why Blue Mountains didn't come back, because it only has eight pit stalls. do what I can to try and get up there. Should have known the game was going to get back to that point again. It's only a matter of time. slowly catching them but it's hard it's really hard to say Simple stretch of the pit lane would have been straight, would have been enough. But would have resulted in Microsoft getting bankrupt, unfortunately. I mean, that said that would have been such a tragedy if that happened, you know? Such a tragedy. Would have been very unfortunate. Uh, trying really damn hard to get up to the fucking duo here kind of just wish wanting them to take each other out make my life a bit easier Xbox 360 cancelled. Fuck. These fuckers are not losing me. Go for it. It worked. Now they're just gonna fucking defend the position. Iger Nordwan had a. I remember that pit lane. You mentioned it. Yeah, like, because I won't just. 
Talking about just loops around in such a long ass pit lane. Tokyo Expressway South, where it isn't even at the start finish line, it's at the hairpin. Sure was end choice. <sighs> gotta concentrate, just gotta make sure I don't do anything stupid. Okay, let's keep it together. I have this goal of $2,000 to fly up north. To see a race with a friend, friend of mine practically shit the bed around four hundred dollars. That's what happened to my day. Oh dear. Funny how even Honor Ring Mini has at least 16 pit stalls. That's future proofing. If only they give us that track back. to be super safe. All right. I have managed to do the thing. Shit's, shit's stressful. It's ironically the same way I got $400 and bought you a CPU. I lost the entire $400 I had built up over like a week. It's not dire as if that was money I actually worked for. It was all winnings, but it still sucks. Yeah, that's understandable. TBH. Look, the fact that you even make things off of winnings is like, you know, impressive enough. Like, like, I sh like that. That's 
I like I said, I see. I do have to again. I I really have to fucking thank you for the CPU though, because the CPU's upgrade's been fantastic so far. <sighs> Unfortunately, now I just need to get the GPU because uh, starting to get. I th I need to replace. I think what I really need and really kind of need to do is to uh, take out my GPU and then uh, open it up to replace the thermal paste because it's getting to that point now where like it's hit 75 degrees on like some of my more newer games and any time it hits 75 degrees the fans just ramp up like to like really loud for like a few seconds. I don't know why it does at 75 and not like. I, I don't know why it does that at 75 and not something like 81 degrees, but I don't know, which, which is like the limit it should be, but I, I don't know. I can always just use Afterburner to kind of force the fans to run a bit heavier like on those games and it has helped. G GPU is, graphi is a graphics card. Graphics process, graphics processing unit. Like, I'll put it this way, like this, the GPU that's in it right now is the same, is about as old as the CPU I had until the one you helped me get. To give you an idea. This was all built up around the same because this computer was initially built around the same at the same time. This game does have less courses than GT4. I don't fucking know. Yeah, I prefer the GT4 version, honestly. Like, there's bits of, that I do like about this track, but I prefer the GT4 version in New York. Fucking Cadillac. Stop swerving everywhere. But like I said, I do need it. Like I said, though, I just need a new GPU as well at some point because the CPU was one bottleneck. The GPU is another, which that bottleneck's now been solved. It's just the GPU itself is also a bottleneck because, uh, again, I probably just need to open it up and replace the thermal paste to help with the temperatures. But that shit I've not done before, and it's also fucking nerve wracking because that's the only GPU I have. So I'm worried about fucking something up. And it's just, again, I just would prefer something that can, you know, run more of my newer games at, like, better frame rate, at, like, better frame rates and stuff, which 2070 is starting to get to that point where it's just, it's starting to get to the point where it's just at its theoretical limits now. And I'm, and I'm witnessing it. Thanks. Thanks for using me as my fucking brakes. Uh, so far, I've, so far, I have not seen any instance of the game doing that. So maybe, but uh, maybe when we get to the endurances, we might see it. But uh, not sure yet. Cadillac went way too, way too fast into there. Dude, what, what? 
What? I, I, this AI is so un the, having to deal with this fucking nonsense with the AI is so annoying. Let me tell you. Starting to break break from the Cadillac for now, at least. Rubber Green is the last will be the last race of this championship. Jeez. Second raid of the second raid of the night. Hi, hi, Jericho. Hope you had a good stream, my bud. Uh, you don't know who I am. My name's Thunder. I, I'm an idiot who acts like a, I'm an idiot who thinks they're a derg, and I play a bunch of racing games. And uh, for this, for the sake of audiences, I guess? Question mark. But hey, that's my, it's, it's what I do. And if you think if you think that might be interesting than you, then uh, I'll check then. Perhaps stick around. If not, I hope you enjoyed Jericho's stream. I was catching up to that fucking Volvo, and then that, and then that fucking acceleration just kicks in. Not only this, but this fucking Cadillac here is also a problem. Maybe I should have just used that Corvette that I unlocked before. Probably may have been a better choice. This game really is pain sometimes. It really fucking is. And now I'm just losing it. Yay. Yeah, I think the Corvette probably retrospective would have probably been the better choice, honestly. What I really would just like them to do is to crash into each other and ha and cause cause a situation where I can just pass them that way. That would be really that would be really nice. Wait, am I about to? Oh, I thought I was about to get my wish, maybe. I'm too far back. Yep, but now the Cadillac's just passed the Volvo. I'm just, I'm really, fu I'm so fucked. Yeah, it's something I'm learning too when playing through this is the fucking gearings for a lot of this is too long for some of these race cars are just by default too fucking long. It was like that with another car isn't yeah, I'm just gonna have to restart. I got I don't really have any other choice. 
And again, I I can't just load I can't just change my setup prior to actually starting the race. You could do that in the fucking single races and like arcade and whatnot, but you can't do it in the fucking career mode, aka where it would be more fucking important. The fact that you can't change that here, that like like what the actual fuck? I'm s I hate this AI so fucking much. I, I really do. Jesus. <laughs> Nearly. Not... Okay. Let me just try to break free as much as I can so I can just... Just, so I could just deal with the fucking Volvo. Yeah, I 100% in GT3. Trying to actually catch up to that damn Volvo is difficult because that thing just has so much acceleration. Okay, I think I think I'm with, I think I'm in its range. Yeah, you can see that you can just see that you can see the difference here just how much just how much better the acceleration on that Volvo is had to be forceful Yeah, there's a slip. Yeah, there's a little slipstream mic on. It's kind of, kind of something I I I'll often keep forgetting is there because you don't you don't see it. You're not usually looking down there so so much. Oh, the Cadillac's not in third there. That's actually a good thing. The Cadillac was f fighting in the... <coughs> oh, jeez, the Volvo just hit the wall. Uh, because the Cadillac, I remember, that thing is, like, clo closing in with the points. Or trying to, so... Uh, I now don't care. Wow, Dank Pods. You, did you really ever care, Dank Pods? Later, by the way, NFS.
and random. It's one of my greatest achievements. Wow, I'm smart. That's just on me, that one. I was really worried about being hit hit from behind going into that, but thankfully thankfully managed to avoid it. Gee, thanks. Love it when the game does that. Keep the keep the thing together. Don't make any stupid mistakes, and I can I can just try to keep keep myself at least a bit more ahead. Hopefully. Don't make the same mistake again. There we go. Now, now during this straightaway, I just got to prage. Just got to prage. Uh, not when they initially started Bantua. They eventually became that, but uh, that not not originally. the fucking Corvette past the Volvo. I don't know what ha I don't know what happened to the Cadillac, but I think because I can't even see it in back and forth. I think I think it's the fucking Viper in fourth right now. Still back there, it's fine.
All right, final lap. Jesus Christ, I think those things catch up quick in no slipstreams. Keep must gotta keep gotta just concentrate. Ugh, I don't like I, I, I don't like this. Very nerving. All right, good. Managed to keep it off the wall that time. Let me get it managing to build enough of a gap from them again at the right time. We are good. Safe and sound. Ugh. That was my fastest lap as well at the very end. Hell, even now did both the Corvettes and the Volvos. All right, two more in this one, I believe. Oh boy, this should be interesting. I haven't tried to fight, trying to get around these cars on this fucking track. Ow, my elbow. I don't know why they did that, but they did. Oh, this is gonna end possibly badly. Oh. Oh, yeah, it did for the Corvette. begins the arduous journey to see if I can get up uh, clear a five second gap
Viper is keeping with me now because the Viper is in the fucking slipstream. I think I did at least knock over a second from the, the distance between me and the Volvo from the previous lap. So there is there's a chance. I do not like how close that Viper is though, because I'm just expecting something bad to happen. Just, I really am just anticipating something bad happening. I'm under the slipstream now. Too, when I'm trying to do these corners and the car decides it just wants to slide through them instead. It's not what I'm wanting right now, game. <sighs> this game is AI just really brings me to a dark place sometimes. I'm just dude. I just have to start again because I'm just losing more and more, losing more and more time. I really should have chosen something different that didn't put me in the back of every fucking race. Again, the fucking game hooking the cars up when the fucking rear quarter panels touch. It's like you just it just seizes all control. The problem is because I'm doing a championship, I can't exactly quit because I'm pretty sure that will quit the whole championship, and I don't want that. At least I because I've never I've never actually tried to see if I can like do that, but I don't want to have to restart the whole thing just to switch car if I switch cars and then suddenly I have to hold, do the whole thing over again. Ugh. It's another thing too, always trying to be clear of these fucking cars. I can't it's so hard to actually judge like how like how clear I am when I'm trying to go for a pass. It will, it will what? It will like quit the whole race or the whole championship if I try to switch cars like halfway through it. I say halfway through, this is like the second last race. Yeah, so basically I'm stuck with this damn thing. <sighs> I am actually genuinely furious right now. Again, why does this game have no tuning before each race? Like, why is that not just a thing? You'd think it would be. Think it would seem like such a basic idea. Oh my 
god, again with it hooking up on the fucking rear quarter panel. Just lose all sense of traction when it does that. That was just a really shit start. Ugh. Yep, yeah, now I'm just throwing this damn thing, this whole damn fucking thing away. Ugh. Ganon being pushed off the track because no AI doesn't seem to care. Okay. Okay, I've at least got to do that. I'll try to not butcher the shit out of this. There, there, even past the Corvette now. Faster than last time. not to. Car contact physics are annoying, Meister. Absolutely, like, without question. Oh, it's been late on the brakes. Hoping the, the Corvette would have kept choosing not to uh, go behind me for the slipstream. Okay, try. Try to work on getting my way up there. Trying to make any progress is so is just so damn difficult. saying a whole lot right now. I'm just trying to concentrate to see if there's if I can actually catch up to the damn Volvo. Not 
really make don't see I don't honestly I don't really think I'm making that much progress. The main thing with the Volvo is it just has so much acceleration. Like it, it, it like it gets up to speed very quickly. That's that's the main problem with the Volvo. Just another case of like just bad balance, get bad game balancing. Shot it. I would I would suspect it's pretty light, yeah. Look, I, like I, it's still a championship, so like I'm not bothered if I have to come second, but it's still annoying, like seeing some of this unbalancing from the game again. After quite a while in the stream where I wasn't having to deal with that stuff, now I'm, it's coming all back to remind me what game I'm playing. I think the Volvo is having a little bit of a hard time because I'm a little bit closer to it now, but not my much. Corvette again. Ugh, it's a bit late on the brakes. Why do I have no grip? I had to go on the inside here because I was worried I would be slammed in the ass by the fucking... Well, the, I ain't catching that Volvo. I've already accepted that that's just not happening.
just just gotta do what I can to keep second at least. It's the best that I can do for now. Sucks. Like just, I really, I probably should, should have just used and used that Corvette since I unlocked it before. Probably would have been a better, would have would have started further up the field on these races, so would have had less to deal with this nonsense. But there's only, but at least there's one more race after this, and hopefully that will go better. This is what you get for doubting Daddy Sweden. Well, I don't have, well, I don't have the Volvo. Get the Volvo. I can't because I if I if I exit this and that means I have to do the whole championship over again and I'm not doing that should have used the Volvo from the start I didn't have the Volvo should have gotten the Volvo from the start shut up not deal I'm not I am not exactly in ex the most happiest of territories because of this game right now so oh the Corvette just died understandable but Consider this. Sweden. If you like Sweden so much, why don't you fucking marry it? Maybe I will. You know who else loves Sweden? Okay, I'll just take just take the second. Sweden on the ball in the head. Look, I will fucking lick Christian von Koenigsegg's head if that's what it takes. Damn. Just play back out of the championship and get to play the game even more. Great, you gave me a reason. You gave me a, a perfect reason not to do it, JC. <laughs> what? You mean you don't want to play Forza Forza Motorsport One? Honestly, once I get this game done, I will be very happy. I promised I would beat it, that's why I'm still playing it. But I will be happy to be done this game. Oh no! <laughs> Austin is getting cursed abroad. Oh jeez. Sit in my Swedish bathtub and bathe and go 300 miles an hour. Naked. Filled with water. Just, just naked and moist. Damn it. Sleep. Stop it, Automod. The 
fact that you can't, the fact that you, you can't even adjust the grid st start or, or like or anything is always just really irritating. So I always have to. So because I chose this vehicle, I always have to forcefully. I always have to be at the fucking back. Faster. Ah, uh, dink button. Don't ask me how I know. How do you know? Don't. Okay. I think I might. Think, you think there's a chance I might be pushing this Volvo? Because I might be doing just that. Just give him a butt hug. Push him out to death. Use him as your brakes. Teach him pain. I mean, to be fair, it does it does count as a slipstream, so it allows me to get away from everyone else. His butt is very, very hard to hug. Got big manky hands. Gone for, I've gone for the pass, and the, and the pass worked. Get on his chest. I, 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 I will, I will prefer not to. Twist the stick, Spider-Man. Of course, you'd use the redeem just for that. Pull off his skin. Go on. Pull off his skin. Grab his dick, twist it. The old dick twist. Oh, Jesus. Hi, Volvo again. Oh, I should have braked. No. Oh, wait. Might have done something. I intimidated. Like the way to feel your skin on your body. I hate this. Yeah, we're d we are doing and racing. Keep my foot in it. Keep your balls in it too. Well, I mean, if I could find the space for them. I'm sure, you can get a strap large enough. Just 
always assume it's for Dale. No bookmark, try ketchup instead. Hell yeah, brother Dale! Oh, Jesus. Yep, just kept my foot in it. Yeah, right, sender, bud. Yeah, fuck, that was an actual just sender moment. Raise hell, praise Dale. Also, alternatively, raise Dale, praise hell. What? What, 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 what you need? What do I need? Well, I can tell you what what I need, or rather, what I would want. Uh, RTX 4070 Super, but also, but what I need is, is a therapist. Is, is yes, I need. I do need a therapist. Again, exclamation mark tip if you want to help out, or also just check out exclamation mark throne, or don't. I'm not your dad. Your. G your Jesus, their Jesus, them's Jesus. Anyone else? I sh any other Jesuses I should know of? Damn that! So that's what the JC in your name stands for. Smile. That is what I. That is what I need. Apart from a therapist. I love sand. Praise Dale, praise hell. Bible Belt hate this hack. I mean, I mean, my PC does need a GPU upgrade. PK, my my current 2070 is a throt is a bot is a bo is, is bottlenecked and also needs new paste because it's uh because it's because uh yeah help a derg out. If you want or don't, I'm not your dad. Will I get paid for it? Uh, 50 cents, take it or leave it. Mm. And a ham sandwich. Well, I mean, that I mean, that ham sandwich is tempting. Actually, we don't have ham. Do you, do you accept turkey? I, I will accept turkey. Okay. We don't have turkey. That, then what do you have? We have beef. What kind of beef? I cannot hear you very well right now. My mother just opened up the door and then like made these weird wavy hands and then was grinning and laughing maniacally and I think this is a motherfucker motherfucker moment. That's unfortunate. I won't be able to look at it right now for reasons, but you might have to just take a picture of it. Should I have my phone off because I've been getting a lot of spam. I have to wait for that to come back on. I just wanted to basically sit like like spam calls that specifically pick one or two hours of the day and are like, what if we just call you now? Seems about what they would do. And I just started turning my phone off during that time to say like, no. Fuck off. No. Don't want it. I am not even giving you... What about a Diet Coke and a firm handshake? Okay, now Quickie Mart comes up... Now Quickie Mart has a much better suggestion. A Pepsi and a Pastrami sub. Fucking oh. Pastrami subs. Now that's my... Now that's my fucking jam. I do, I do love me a Pastrami sub. I love Travis.
What about a Mountain Dew and a hand job? I mean, I mean, if it's being offered, oh, and my cat's awake. Oh, fucking, fucking curbs. I have one brief moment with a curb, but then suddenly the cat like just leaps and f leaps and leaps away. What the fuck? Fucking. I love the balancing in this game. It's so good. I'm going to the kitchen. I got the phone on. I got the camera. I will be back. And I won't like what I'm seeing. I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be worth it. to just rely on like the fact that the AI does take some of these corners pretty cautiously and hope that I can get back that way. That's a pleasant surprise. It was not the fridge. It was not? No, she was just she was uh, just getting her boogie on to dire straits. Okay, then. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, I thought that was going to go a lot worse after I went a little wide there, but that was fine. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. Lamp. Okay, so back to our discussion from earlier. Uh, what if I get you a Bacardi rum? I wouldn't drink it. And colon irrigation. A, a what? Colon irrigation. Cleans out your colon. Why do I need that? Make your butt feel good. That's true, I could sell the Bacardi rum. And your butt would feel good, so win-win. <laughs> are, are you saying this from experience, by the way? <laughs> I don't know. Am I? Are you? Am I? I've just heard stories. Sure. A guy that knows 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 a guy. That cleaning your butthole feels nice and good. Your poops will come out just so smooth, like a water slide. I don't like the sound of that. Not not stop. I'm stopping you right there. Last thing we, last thing I need is, last thing I need is my fucking Twitch chat to disappear because of a, a bit something that might be considered that may be considered TMI. <laughs> Spring cleaning, goddammit. That's, it. that's okay. That's clever. <laughs> You know, I was really thinking that the Cadillac would probably take some of this easy, but as I'm learning, not so much. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Hang on a second. There's something here. Oh, we're in this. Uh oh. Oh, fuck. We're not in this anymore. Oh, no. Yeah, I guess I am a dummy. Yeah. Dummy. Yeah. yeah. Hang. 
I will get to your dick butt in a bit. Just give me, just, I'm just concentrating right now. Go faster. Oops, did I do that? Oh, he's, oh, he's, he's cooked. He's absolutely cooked. All right, dang button. Dummy the thick. Clean it and claim it Microsoft Xbox Studios. fucking thing just climbs so quickly though oh my god that thing fucking climbs holy shit I that was getting really close at the end there while well, we won And I got the blue viper net, uh, as my prize. Oh, that was fucking stressful. Congratulations, you've reached the final level four. So, wow. I don't have any cars for the next one. Interesting. Well, that's the last thing I, I need to do in this, but I, I also don't have a car for this. So, so the next two events, I don't have a fucking car for. But I do have something for this. The uh, RGTS class. And the car that's involved with that, I, uh, I'm tempted to do it. This will actually let me use the, uh, the, the, uh, the Ferrari. Which this thing has lots of acceleration. <sighs> a little bit longer at least, a, a little bit longer at the very least, Lotus. This may not be an S7R, but the, but the Ferrari. Well, I remember the Ferrari was beat was a quite a car itself. So this might still be a, this might still be a useful pick. Or I, I could just look at the field and realize the S7R doesn't even show up for this. Well, that makes my life easier then. Why Silverstone short? I wouldn't be able to tell you. As I am trying to do like a bit a bit of a push to like really kind of get through this game because like uh, the sooner I can have this game done the better Yeah, so even though the Zonda is a better handling car, just this the fucking just absurd amounts of acceleration that this Ferrari has in comparison, just it's a better choice. Yeah, 
Oh yeah, absolutely Q. At least because this these cars are fairly quick. Just even though this, I think this has like one extra race, and it shouldn't feel too bad. And then the car I will get from this, I believe, will, will be in the P1 class. I can actually do that that very last thing in the uh, in the other thing, and then that whole section will finally be done. Careful cat. Shoving the mic in my face nearly. And she's done it again. Yes, kitty. You choose now you choose now to demand attention. Don't sit on the cord. Don't sit on the cord. Please do not sit on the cord. Thank you. Next here, let me help. There you go. Cause I know what you I know what you want. I know why you're I know why you're here, cat. I know how you I know how you function. If you're like peel sh <clears throat> that again. Feel like pure shit, just want 2000s GT1 and racing games again. I know, right? That'd be so nice. Once I am done this game though. Uh, I won't. Once I am done this game, there is like one more game for a while that will probably require the OGX, the original Xbox, and then I can give a break with, the, with this thing. Like, it's not going to be the game I do immediately after this, because the next game, like, the game that will come after Forza, uh, uh, that one will be on emulator. Because it, emul it plays these days on PCSX2, it just plays more than fine enough that I could probably just emulate through the game. And then Underground 2 will be its PC port, so... I just put every all the other things to the side because I just want to get this game this game in particular done. How's the rest of y'all holding up still? Still, still, how many of you are still kicking?
Which I knew, a th which I knew a things to talk about, but it's just... I'm bad with conversations. Why do you think I often- why do you think I'm often in voice chats when I do these? Just got home from work about an hour ago. Fair and valid. Ferrari is definitely keeping it in there. At least the other Ferrari, but the important thing is that we're. It's basically just going against itself, so it's a lot more balance, it's a lot more fair between the two of us. I didn't realize, isn't this? I was saying to myself, like, I was worried about the S7 being that, and then I realized, wait, this, I think I'm doing a Euro one. Of course it won't be in here. Unless I'm just remembering wrong and I'm stupid. I think I am just remembering wrong. I think I'm doing the GTS one. Weirdly enough, I was up early in the, this morning to catch my baseball team playing in Korea. Interesting. Ay, ay, ay. Two game series in Seoul makes sense. I'm guessing you're. I'm guessing, as I was saying, how many of you are still kicking? You're the only one that responds. I'm guessing Quickie Mart's the only one that's still kicking. Everyone else decided it's time for Betty Bye. I'm, uh, obviously, I can't. I I don't look at the like. I I genuinely have no idea when I do these streams because I don't look. At, I don't look at the raw numbers when I'm live. So that is that is a personal preference choice that I make. That I don't like to. That I that I choose not to look at my raw num raw numbers when I'm streaming. Okay, that's the first one down. 101,990. Now, if only I wasn't already level 50. The 
Like, imagine, imagine if I wasn't. I'll be totally real with you, quick, quick, man. I'm gonna be totally real with you for a sec. For a sec, I haven't really been paying paying much attention, to be honest, about the sports, about a lot of the sports stuff that's going on. So, Dude, I love soccer. If they do, if but here's how my answer usually. Here's how my answer usually will be. I just hope they. I just hope they win some games. That's all I ask. fair um, hopefully hope anyone else in chat hopefully hopefully i'm not boring y'all i'm not boring y'all to death this is like this is like proper in stream fatigue going on yeah that's fair just make funny noises haha <laughs> that's stream monkey dance you're just lurking fair Fair enough. Just got here. Hello. I know it's just late for me to usually. I know it's like late for me. It's just. I just had a late. You know, just late start and shit. Didn't I? And it's like. Again, just wanting to actually get through this fucking game, so I can be so I can be done this game. I hate that every time I see Fawnin's name now, my mind just fills up with, "Hey, remember Shinzo Abe?" <laughs> you have been cursed by <laughs> the curse of Raw. What except it's the curse Shinzo of Abe. The, the curse of Abe. The curse of Rabe. <laughs> Got the new hickey and everything. Oh no! Jesus H. Murphy. <laughs> I still just love the fact that there is an assassination weapon that is commonly referred to as the doohickey. The doohickey. Have have sex? I mean, what? Yeah, I mean, right now, at this moment, a a yo what? <laughs> she Shinzo on my Abe until I do hickey. <laughs> I don't have the buzzer on hand, so uh, accept this substitute. Almost 121 on the nose on that last lap. I'm getting a groove. Finally thinking we're starting to get the groove with this track at long fucking last. Trying to become the speedy, the speed derg. Speedy speed derg. Super speed derg. 
That was my name. That was my display name for a period of time on the Ass Discord. Ass always burning. Ass always burning? Yeah. Should see a doctor about that. Dragons breathe fire, right? Do you think a dragon farts fire, too? Is there, is there any sort of particular reason you wish to know this information? I'm just curious. Are we learning things about you that maybe should have been left alone? I'm wanting to learn things about you. Learning things about me? Yes. I don't believe this. Character development. I not to believe. hot dog and it was on fire, would you eat yourself? If I was on fire, the last thing I'd be thinking of is eating myself. Very poor answer. Why is that a poor answer? Because now I'm going to bite to your, your ear off. Why? Why would you go after my ears like that? I need that for hearing <laughs> reasons. Soft and chewy. I am not- I am not edible. I'm not- I'm gonna bite your ear off! I'm gonna bite your ear off! I'm being abused. Me to be. Hello, human resources. Mike Tyson wakes up. Huh? Someone got oh, it. Oh, wait a second. Let's go with Mike Tyson voice. I, I I just thought you were being a fucking gremlin like usual. But Meet your baby. Meet your baby, baby. I'm coming to cover you with the ammo wound. There we go. Sub 121. was definitely the right choice to bring for this event. Laser eyes. Oh, they got lasers. Is almost a sub 120. Instead, it's a Dom 120. Shut. It it's not. It this, we're not talking about that. It's, it's kind of it sub. Was it was over 120, therefore it was on top. No, it's called. No, it's called not being fast enough. Missed the opportunity for the insertion. Phone pluckers up too fast. I'm sorry. I somehow I, I somehow I doubt that. I'm genuinely sorry for that. My face is red. I'm, I'm do, actually. Do you ever just regret. sit down to yourself and just think to your just think about the ideas that go on in your brain and the things you say and you. You ask yourself, why do I say the things that I do? Look. I, I'm looking. Wait, well, I'm looking at my car, but... I'm just fucking insane, okay? Oh, you too? Yeah. 
I come back and I see mentions of the doohickey. <laughs> Fawn came in and so I was like, I, I, I'm suddenly thinking of the doohickey again. You, you, they dude on your hickey. <laughs> Unwields the doohickey, the greatest weapon of mankind, savior of humanity. The destroyer of ideas. <laughs> well, it sure is fuck destroy Shinzo Abe's ideas. Oops, become ideant. I guess, in terms of spelling, I that would be ideant. I didn't know at all. Ooh, get out of the grass. should be familiar with these ideas you're talking about. God! Boo. 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 Oh my dear in heaven. Oh dear God. <laughs> Don't don't mention her name, we she'll come in and tell you that you smell. Okay. Yes? I, I, I didn't mention. Did I mention? Did I mention Boo? Boy named Smell. Go fucking kill him. Dude. I'm going to get the do. I'm going to get the auto fire doohickey. Full automatic doohickey. Dual. Wheel it's a long running gag, like inside kind of gag thing, executioner. I don't even get it. They just said it. Like, there was no explanation whatsoever, no setup. They just started saying it. Well, if she was around, I'd ask her, like, what was the idea for starting it? But, uh, I, I think she's probably. I think she's probably still sleeping right now, so. Good. Her beds are full of smells anyway. She knows all about smells. Damn. I can't believe you would say such a thing like that. Yeah. It's kind of rude. I'm the rude one? Y yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Cat doesn't want to, uh, wait, no, she's singing about it. No, nope. I think she, I think she wants to jump off. Yep. There she goes. Come here. She has made up her mind. Yum, 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 yum. Cat. She doesn't do this. She doesn't do that. 
claw his eyes out with vengeance. Look, I'm gonna have to report you. To who? To, to them. Who is them? Them. This, you're th you are threat. You are threat. You you are trying to. Uh, it, uh, you are trying to brainwash my cat by imply by using the threatens of death. That is that is unacceptable behavior. I am offering death as an interesting alternative. That's yeah, inter interesting alternative. My ass. Like, have you considered murder? You're you're saying you want my cat to, to murder me? Yes. That therefore, that's a death threat, is it not? No, that is a death suggestion. Death suggestion. I I, I swear to fuck. <laughs> it's the Although I do agree with Meister, ask to be an interesting alternative. It's a strand type death threat. Strand type death threat. Death stranding. I'll be making you strand upon death someday. I won't say when, just someday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Because if I tell you the which day, then you'll know. And that's the, that's the trick. The trick is that it happens when you don't expect it coming. Don't eat, uh, don't eat sand, or else Kojima wins. It, uh, factoid of life, right there. Sand is pretty fun. Just not gonna lie. I want nothing more than a ham sad which right now. Then go make one. So sad. Yeah, that hectic final turns. That's uh. They seem to they seem to have been quite a fan of that in these old OG uh, these OG tracks. Congratulations! I still don't know how to say words. Meanwhile, Trial Mountain's looking at them like cowards. No, Trial Mountain's final turn is heck. Well, uh, uh, Trial Mountain's turn is not hectic. It's just fun. Fun because it's hectic. That's what I'm saying it is the best hectic final turn. <laughs> yeah, not anymore, sadly though. Not any oh, mind me. They turned it into an actual thing because reasons. Because mummersion. Ugh. Hate it. I mean, I still like New Trial Mountain too, so it doesn't really bother me that much, but yeah. I think, I think it's poopy and stinky. Oh, you would know about that, I'm sure. Shut the fucking, shut the fuck up. Nobody asked you. Nobody asked your stupid fucking opinions, you. <laughs> well, uh, well, unfortunately for you, there is one problem with that. I am the streamer. The balls my are in my court. <laughs> the balls are in your mouth. I mean, if you pay me enough. Okay. Uh, my wallet. Shit, hold on. What just fell out of me? What just fell out of my wallet? Random sound. Back to Winnipeg. Oh, well, back what to Winnipeg. Dime? Do you want a dime? You hear, what, is this enough to get your, your the balls in your mouth? I have I, a Canadian dime too. So where the hell is my Canadian dime? Why do you have a Canadian dime? I don't know. I just saw my room one day. I got two quarters as well. Holy shit. 
Actually, I got a couple of times. Where the fuck is my Canada dime? Holds up Can Canadian dime. Wow, this is worthless. <laughs> I don't think the difference between 10 cents American and 10 cents Canadian would be that significant, but just, just run like with the joke. Six cents? Seven cents Canadian? I don't know. Maybe? American? Somewhere around there? All right. All right. Hold on. Internet. Google. Seven cents. So yeah, so I'll be right back. Well, for the time being, it is just me. It is just Anne Derg. Trying his hardest to, to, to drive and car and be, and be the streamer Derg that they have all, that Derg has always wanted to be. Every, every time I stream, I must persevere. Free. That's three down, and it's still like fucking like six more to go or something. Oh. I want to see how long that last championship and the other thing is going to be because that's like probably what I'll do that to end it off on because just. Why is it? Why are they taking so long to get to Australia? <sighs> All right, I'm uploading it to Discord. Imagine if license track allowed use of reverse layouts. Don't most of them do? Oh, yeah, she's super secret response. Ha ha, Higi. <laughs> I'm a broken man and my soul is dead. All right. We're, I need, there's one thing that I need to do. Eh. <laughs> oh, never mind. It's a BMP. It decided, no, we're not. You get, you get. It's just, be, it's a, it's just a weird thing with uh, what I was trying to do. That it's the fact I hate how like big it this thing made it. I'm big. I'm gonna gotta scroll this down until I can get it to fit. Oh god. There we go. Josh, the only time you're not as dumb as you look is when I close my eyes. It was on the screen for a brief second, then it went away. Is that what you wanted? Now it's like just oh, it is it is chunky. You're I think you're a bit behind. Oh, am I that far behind? Yeah, because I already got the image to show proper like to show enough on screen. I might be behind. Fuck me. I, mean. <clears throat> Not, I refresh now. It's too late. You're racing again. Shit. <laughs> yep. Ah, penises. It do be well. Uh, you see, at times it just. I guess it just, I guess it just dooby dooby doo like that. 
But wait, fuck. jerk off my door again because it doesn't want to close properly now. Just suddenly started doing that. Huh? I'm sorry? Japan. I, 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 I went over on that side to prevent that and they still run into me like actually incompetent. Goofy uh, AI this is this game in a nutshell it seems. Anyways, uh, how many of you are looking forward to when I finally, how many of you are looking forward to when I finally beat this game? Soon trademark. And now my cats come back. Please do not stay in front of the screen. Thank you. I'm just doing my best. I'm just try just trucking as much as possible. Oh, 
I was expecting a crash down from those opponents at that sharp turn. I mean, honestly, I can't say I blame you. Again, I apologize I'm not saying like a whole lot right now. It's just again, just trying to think about things to talk about is still not, it's just not my particular strength. I swear I say this more often than I really need to. I have a, ba I have a bad habit of saying things that people already know about and it's like, d d d yes. So yeah, I think the plan I'll probably do for tonight is get this championship done. I'll take a look at that last one that's in the the other thing and see how long that'll take. Kind of make my decision from there if I want to just do it, if I want to just throw that in tonight or just push it to the next stream. I would probably prefer to just just kind of persevere and do it tonight because then that way all that'll be left the next time I come back is if just a few more of these uh, uh, in the championship level and then it'll just be all endurances after that and those will just be one race each so one race each per thing It's late. I know it I know it is, but it's just more of just a feeling of just wanting to get this game done is uh, dominating the thought process more than anything else right now. So You 
should have it subinate your thought process. Shut the thing. fuck up. <laughs> it's not everything has to be about the, the AO. You said dom. I said dominate. Dom yes, dominate. Dom yeah, dominoes. <laughs> Look, I'm just doing what I can. You can only ask so much of me. I just realized Dom Toretto implies the existence of Sub Toretto. <sighs> oh my god. Holy shit! I see you are dead. I think that's the closest I've ever gotten to uh, what would be flipping a car in this game if uh, the game actually allowed that to happen. Oh yeah, the physics didn't just sort of stop you there. You've been on several times. Holy shit. So I was so annoyed. It was doing well, and then that happened, and now it's just I'm actually struggling to even keep up with the Zonda. Probably because the dam, the damage I've taken probably has a lot to do with that. I'm sure. Oh fuck off! Really, game? You're gonna do this to me now? Ugh. So done with this game's fucking AI. I swear to God. So goddamn irritated by that by that bullshit. Don't even care. I'm just gonna keep moving on. Oh, okay, good. A nice, an actual good track. Next. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah, well done, sir. I'm sure you meant to do that. I 
I know, I've been here a while and it's later and at night and stuff and it's, you know. Again, if I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't be going right now if I didn't, if I didn't just at, at snooze off earlier. But again, I just want to, I'm just trying to push through this game because I just want this game done. Hi. Like, are you in range to beat it tonight or? No, I'm not doing, not tonight. It's, oh, fuck yeah, no. It would take. It would still take too long for me to do it within this this night. So, it'll have to. Plus that. Plus then I still got to do the arcade mode because that counts. Because that also counts to its own percentage. But arcade. I, yeah. I, that exists. Yeah, there is there is an arcade mode in Forza One, and it has its own percentage stat. So I got to do that. But. Uh, that I suspect by the time I get to the end, that I don't think will will be all that. R r that one probably won't really be all that bad to be honest, because that one in particular, that one in particular, I think a lot of the events will be a lot will be notably shorter and stuff. So, and plus I can just have free range of cars for that for the most part. So that, that one probably that part of the game probably won't be that annoying to deal with. But in terms of the career mode, yeah, there's no way I'm getting this done tonight. It's just because I still, because I, I still gotta do like the other things that are in championship. I got that one thing to do in professional, which I want to make the last thing I do tonight, just because that way professional, the professional side at League of Races are will all be done. Then I'll just have a few championships left, and then there's like ten endurances I gotta do. So yeah, so that's. It's, it's not. I am. It's not going to be tonight that I get this game done. That's not happening. with this track being at least this track being in like a nicer track and stuff and just because it's a lot of speed focus it's just generally this one this one's taking me quicker to get through and also two less laps than Tokyo Circuit so oh for God's sakes I gotta I, I I need to do a piss after this race. So I will do that.
I think there's nine in total, and I've done like four so far. And this is, I think, the fifth one so far. So I'm pretty sure this is the fifth one. And before it's not, and I just can't count. Oh, well, I'll, fi I'll find out after this, so... But I'm pretty sure this is the fifth one out of nine. Uh, at least on this track, it's doing doing so well here, and I have to worry about the like, AI stuff too much. What I probably really should have done before I entered this was to like, just a downforce on this car, just to give it all the downforce. But it doesn't really matter. Doing well enough. Having this. The most I've seen of FM1 kind of shows how much hasn't been changed throughout the years. In which ways? I'm kind of curious what you mean by that. Things like the difficulty options, customization, models, etc. Yeah, well, this game has difficulty options, just not in the same uh, uh, broad extent as um, as like uh, what is it? Um, why am I why am I blanking out? Uh, like the later games where you have like more difficulty tiers, whereas this game it's literally just easy, medium, or hard. So it doesn't really matter what difficulty you're on. The one thing you'll have that'll have in common with all the with any of the difficulties in this game is that the AI is just always stupid. So just stupid and different. Just it's just that what each difficulty is, they're stupid but faster. Basically, the further you go up, the customization. This game used to have a lot of really neat customization stuff and certain like aftermarket brands and stuff just the stuff that we lost over the years like it'd be nice to get some of that shit back and then it's for the models well a lot of the models originate from this game and they're still in use today it really kind of shows you uh with all the steps forward there's still many steps taken back
All right. Okay, yeah, that was number five. I was correct. So now we're on to the six, six event. Fucking Rio. All right, um, before I actually start this next event, I actually do need to go take a quick piss, so I will, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, yeah, I have done the thing, and now I've got also got a, and drink with me. This hydration is important. Hopefully this Rio track goes goes pretty well. Folk just gotta all I gotta do is just keep concentrating and focusing and then should be fine.
So who's still, who's all still awake? I am daddy. I'm not your dad though. Dad, dad. I, I will actually roundhouse kick you in the face if you ever say that again. <laughs> Please, for the love of my everything that is holy, never again. <laughs> Understandable. Ugh. I really have... That was a hard-ass cringe moment for me. Like, oh, dear. Beer be me about to. All right, you have you and has good shower. So you're deciding that the, the chat needed to stink again. So then again, it's not like it, it was. It's not like it. It wasn't. It didn't already stink. Smile. Mice are left to unsinky themselves and I shop. I'm continuing it. Just the trend. The trend follows. Fine. Don't worry about. Well, I well I put that there. I put that there for a reason, so you because it kind of because again, like it gives people like it shows like people like which one I'm like kind of look which one in particular am I looking at? I do really. I know I've been kind of making jokes about the GPU, but it, as someone who is genuinely worried about my current one because of. Uh, what I was mentioning earlier now uh, it would be something that would probably alleviate a lot of my worries just having one of those because you know brand new and everything uh, that's just one of the ones that showed up when I was doing searches uh, had re had really good ratings, and that one in particular is a two fan, so it wouldn't take up as much space. I I don't I can get a three fan one if I absolutely have to, but there is a bit of me that would prefer just sticking to a two fan.
But that was basically just availability and price and just the fact that it's a two fan was just kind of a little b bonus. Sure, are, they sure are. Like I said, it's probably gonna be like unless like I, another thing happens, like what JC did with the CPU. It's probably gonna be some time before realistically I'd be able to get that. But I just again just I'm just concerned about my current G. I'm concerned about my current GPU right now. So it's really something that's kind of been pushed up the priority thing. I know people want like the PlayStation Five and everything for me, and you know I. That would be nice to have too, but I still got to do some, some of my work at the end of the day, and I do need. And in order to do said work, I do need a, I do need a GPU for that, and I'm just again, hopefully, maybe just repasting the 2070 would help. But I'm I, I'm still never. It's not something I've done before, so I'm still very you know, anxiety anxiety is a thing. So again, just anything to make my anything to make my life easier. Like I said, it's, it, it only really does that with the GPU, with the, by the way, the fans, like, with some of those certain games, like, like, what I'm doing right now, in particular, I, I actually don't think it's even, it's the, it's even running, like, the, it would even be running the fans on my, on my GPU right now, because I'm not, like, like, any, doing, like, any sort of, like, gaming that, like, heavily demands that, that graphics card right now. But yeah, it's just again, just uh, stress and anxiety can really can really do numbers on you if you have it as bad as I do. I just don't understand like why my GPU decides like what's hit 75 that it like it's it's it decides to just go into like super turbo speed. I can't even get the f I can't even get it to run that loud if I purposely force the cards to run at 100% fans uh, in MSI Afterburner. I can't even purposely get it to run that f loud or fast. It only it only just does it on its own at 75.
I I wouldn't be able to tell you. Like I I, I don't know what I don't know what's going on with it. That's why I'm concerned about it. Like that's why like I have all the anxiety and why I just want to get a new GPU because it's like again in order to do the stuff that I do I do I, I do need a GPU unfortunately kind of how that shit works. All right, Road America. Well, it's not just the uh, about the power efficiency. Why I would stick? I'm sticking with a uh, Nvidia. It's just the main reason I haven't looked at an AMD card. I know AMD cards are getting better all the time, but it's, it's driver support. It's driver support is I think has always been a problem with AMD cards, especially. They don't get the same sort of proper drivers like support and like updates that Nvidia does. Jesus! What was that, my guy? Gotta kind of do that in order to avoid a collision. There we go. Back in the lead. Yeah, that's the thing with, again, it's compatibility. Driver support and compatibility is the main, the main catalyst to why I stick with NVIDIA. As much as I absolutely hate how much they have price gouged shit in recent years. Unfortunately, the, the competition just isn't there right now. AMD's trying it all the time and, you know, they're, they're getting a lot better with it. It's just right now they're still, they still have some other hurdles that they need to get over. In order to truly become competition. At least in my mind. And then Intel's ARC thing is interesting, but it's still a long... That's, that is still a very long ways away from ever truly becoming a competition. Yeah, Arc is way too unmatured. If they keep, if Intel keeps with it, one day it will be matured. But it's, but not right, not that's that day. That day is not today. So yeah, these GTS cars are actually fast enough that they can do 
that I can actually do sub two minute laps here on Road America. Okay. One more lap. I know I don't have a whole lot to say, just sound like a broken record already. All right. 
Brady. we go that just leaves two more for this championship I believe oh brother well we gotten up to what's probably gonna be my least favorite of this of the tracks in this championship At least this time there's no fucking S7R to worry about, so... Yes, cat, I feel you there. Are you okay down there? Is everything good?
Welcome back, Meister. Just still... You've come, you've come back to me being on uh, almost halfway through, oh my god, um, the second last, what's the second last race of this, of this particular one, because I believe there's only one other race after this, and that'll be the two laps at the, the, the ring, so at least this championship, we're get we're getting close. Kind of worried about that one last championship at Super Professional. I hope that one's not like super long or anything. It's like because I would like to try to attempt to do that one tonight, and as like the last one I do. I'll have to see how long it goes for. Jeez. I think I've got that, got a gap right now.
Oh dear. Oh well, that. that I'm, I'm just. I'm just making noises now. Making noises in a dire attempt to make it seem like I'm. I have not, in fact, died. Welcome back, Cookie Mart. Way too hot into there. Thankfully, I've got have have enough of a gap, so whereas that wasn't too big of a concern. One more for this championship. And it's two, of course, two laps around the ring. definitely doing after I am done is uh, giving myself the uh, nice long weekend because I will definitely be I'll probably start working on the, the thing that I need to be working on so
Because yes, I could tech I could technically stream this like some point on the weekend if I really wanted to, but uh I think the weekend is usually a good time for relaxing in my in my in my head, so I'm gonna take that opportunity. Excuse me. The, the, the Jumbo Burger King ring. I can think of, oh yeah I just realized there's another reason I would another thing that just came to mind that I remembered that'd be nice to try out with getting a new uh, GPU uh, the AV1 encoder I can't use I can't use that on my 2070 but if I got a 4070 super I'd be able to try out the AV, that AV1 encoder and see what the big deal is Huge ring. What it did, I wanted it there too hot, so I pretty much had no other choice but to cut it to kind of prevent myself from eating it. Would like to upgrade my PC, but there aren't any new games out there that I like to normally play. I mean, for me, I. Because I play like Crew Motor Fest and whatnot, I actually do have a uh, limited by the performance of my GPU reason right now. Because I tried running max settings on the 2070 with the with, with this computer, and it can do for the most part a good job, but there are bits and instances where it cannot maintain 60 FPS. So I'm at that bottleneck.
Yeah. And that 40, getting a, that 40 city super would be more than enough horsepower to easily keep me away from, uh, to easily put me in that comfort zone. And also, again, just like I said, just concerned about the longevity of my current GPU right now. Current GPU was good for 1080p until I expanded three monitors with my main now being a 1440p, so it's pushing itself quite a bit. Yeah, that makes sense, honestly. A solo victory royale when you become the gamer. Not your dad, Dezu. Um, how many times do we have to keep going over this? Besides, aren't you actually younger than me? Like, like, taking the joke aside, aren't you actually younger than me? Da -da. I think Dezu has daddy issues. Damn. Yeah, because I'm like, it's it's next it's next week from now the neck not this friday not today but next friday i'm gonna be 29 29 29th on the 29 20 29 on the 29th d d d d d d d d yeah. they were basically next week is next week is birth derg next week is the birth derg So yeah, so, okay. 
Wait, I was I was joke. Hang on. This whole thing I was questioning to my I was questioning to myself like I was saying like, aren't you younger than me? It's like, well, yeah. If you, if you, if the whole joke is you're calling me dad, I would sure fucking hope you'd be younger than me. Ugh, look, it's it's late. It, excuse my brain, for it is late. Yes, March 29th is my birthday. March gang. But yes, happy belated birthday, Sane. And dang button. Oh, stop! oh okay. Oh dear, oh dear. the grass I hate passing out early AMs, waking up to just stupid times. Oh, I've been there many times, in fact, saying it's one of the worst. It's like one of the worst feelings about having like a uh, just having like an inconsistent sleep schedule. Even though I try to stick to one, it just my body just says no. This doesn't just uh, it just it just it just don't happen. Pretty much saying it really is just an ah shit here we go again moment. Well, there we go. That is that championship done. And we get one fucking hell of a prize car for it, though. Oh, makes me, this makes me feel things. At least now I have a car for that. Still no cars for these, though. That car gives me such a hard feeling in my pants at the morning time. Sure does. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's see what, what these are lengthwise. Nine, nine, 
8, 11, 6, 8, 8, 2. Okay. That's reasonable enough, honestly. It's not as bad as I thought it might have been, potentially. I thought, out of curiosity. Because so that's what I obviously just unlocked, is that um, GT1, which should be a pretty good choice. Pan I forgot that it, the Panos is just available, and that thing is, like, also really good. In fact, in some cases, better than this. Especially when it comes to breaking cornering. Have a good night, Quickie Mert. Yeah, I think the Panos might be the only one that I think it could potentially be better, but the GT1 I think should be... I think I should do fine with I think I should do fine with it. I don't think it, I don't think there should be like any any sort of serious any like ma massive concern. One thing I will do real quickly is uh, change this up a bit. Cuz I want to get um I, give give me that downforce. Eighty-five percent of the game of the career mode complete now. By the, for con, by the way, Yeah, I'll save. I'll, I'll do that. I'll save that. I am good at navigating. I tell you how what. Yes, welcome back to NFS, by the way. Uh, the, the next, um, the next thing I'm doing, the next championship I'm doing is going to be the last one I do for tonight. God, I don't think there would be, I don't think there's going to be anything for this. No. I, oh, I just noticed this now says 10. It's, it's, I think it's because of uh, what I adjusted. Uh, nope. Not yet. I'm not doing this one next. I just want to see this one because this is 10 races. It's just interesting choices of races, at least. But yeah, this is the one I'm doing as the last thing tonight. Ugh. I need the drink. Really? All the way down in sixth to start. Well, it's the first time in this entire playthrough I'm using I'm using the P something from the P1 class.
Oh my god. Well, that's not frightening at all. Oh god, I... yeah, fuck that up pretty bad. Okay, second... Do, doing this thing the second, that is not a strat at this, for, at, for this at all. I love the AI. It's so, so good and so painless. Oh wait, those those last two things I said are lies. Gosh. There, just four. I just wanted to kind of, kind of had to force my way up time. I'm still thinking you should just murder her. Kill everyone. Get into the funny places. Well, the important thing is I'm in the lead now, so... also very interesting going from vehicles for this game where they have like almost no brakes at all even so even when you hit the braking line it still go off to a car where it has like super powerful brakes so you can go well beyond the red and still slow down in time for the corner one MR2 was yeah the GT1 more than holds up that is good so. uh yeah they were they're gener they were generally easier it's not to the same, like, annoying extent. Jeez, I am fucking leaving them behind. I also should clarify, by the way, this game says the GT1's a 1999. If you know anything about the GT1, you know that this, you'll know that this is not a fucking 1999. It's a 1998. Because they didn't run this livery in 99. Though, that being said, I it is nice to see the 98, because the 98 livery is, pretty, is very nice.
It's also kind of the reasons I would really like to see them fucking bring the GT1 back to Gran Turismo already. See what kind of liveries people would come up with it. I also just want the TSO 20 to come back to spite the guy in my server who doesn't want it because the group system sucks and this car will make it worse. Uh, counterpoint, GT1 is based, therefore. Group system sucks that this car will make it worse. This is why I would go and tell them find a group system that can they can find find a group system to for, to develop your new hobby in touching grass. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point too, Liz. Also, look. Just remove the forward slash and you have lap nice. Body finds a group with some bitches. That it would that would imply someone like them would get bitches. Would that would or sorry, that would imply they have the capability of, of getting bitches. I deem them wanting and maidenless. They're a bitch. They're a female culture. that don't think about crashing right now damn i was thinking about it no don't think about it i don't, I don't know I, was th I sort of think about it but don't don't you dare I'll, I'll try not to but i can't make any promises I mean, it's, it's not that I think this car necessarily in this game is meta, it's just, I, I, I guess I'm just that fucking 
once you put full down force on this thing, this thing just absolutely fucking hauls ass. And I mean, and I, and I mean, I'm not complaining. It Something I hadn't thought about, but you do bring up a good point, like the 98 version of this car would be would be use uh, suitable for group two because it's because it would be, you know, GT1 class car. But then if it's the 99 version, it would probably be better as a group one because that because even, you know, even though it's got the names, it's still called the GT1. The car would have been for the LMP 900 class in 99. I guess it depends on if what what they'd want to do. I I get like what what I what they'd want to do in that scenario. Here, well, there we go. Hundred eighteen thousand eight hundred from this. Oh, it absolutely could, Lotus. I agree. It'll be interesting to see how fast I get around this track. Outfields. That didn't take long. I just want more old race cars back because they're cool and plus I have the money to afford them in game. Also not GT but the TSO 20 race car racing and the road car and hyper car would be sick in Motorfest. I mean they have the Toyota license now. They could do it. They could theoretically do it. Which is why they should do it. Smile. And again also the reason I really do need that new GPU. Clipped it. Oh, Jesus Christ. I fucking told you not to think about crashing. Well, I'm just gonna do do that again because uh after being spun around by the AI after that afterwards, it's like no, I'm not having that. You should just, you know, murder them. Like, 
violently. What, and then ha and then have serious mechanical damage? No, thank you. No, like actually outside of the car, just kill them. I can't get out of the car in this game, though. Skill issue. Well, I'm not the one who made this game, so don't put it, don't blame it on me. I'm just saying. <clears throat> you should ask your opponents if they like Huey Lewis in the news. Ask them. I don't even know what that mean. I don't even know what that means. The, the, the bang. Okay. Lewis on the news, and then lay out some uh, newspaper all over the carpet. Shimmy on over the bathroom. Put on your raincoat. Get out your axe, and then fucking kill Morbius. Sure. Of my eye is like burning. Feels weird to know how Konami made Enthusi and Capcom made auto model Lisa since they're not the first publishers slash studios that I think when it comes to racing games. Well, I mean, they 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 wanted a, a piece of that pie. Didn't quite work out for either of them, but uh, you can't say they didn't. You can't say they didn't try. Yeah, they're cult classics. It's, it's, it's the most you could. Yeah, I mean, certainly can't say that about a modern Konami title. Licensed cars because they can't make Enthusia Pachinko games. That wouldn't stop them from trying, I'm sure. But I don't think they. W I don't think they're going to make a P Enthusia Pachinko because, because oops, the gate. Oops, Enthusia wasn't successful. Why should we care? Basically, Konami. Like current. That's the majority of how current Konami works. If it's not Pachinko, why bother? Yeah, and uh, let's just say driving motion type S is. Uh, I played that game off screen once. Never again. It certainly elicits an emotion. Y yeah, and I, 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 but I'm guessing that emotion is what the S in type S me stands for. Shit. Sadness. 
sadness too. I mean, shit isn't an emotion unless you're the angry video game. Player. Feeling like sh feeling like shit. Yeah, shut up! How fucking how fucking dare you? How fucking dare you? How fucking dare you? Stands for slippery. Well, that sure would. Ex well, that sure is the physics in driving a motion type S. So. away a bit. Yes, kitty, can I help you? Meow, meow. Why do you want my attention now all of a sudden? Why, what do you want? Why do you want my controller? Meow, meow. Cat, what are you doing? Meow. Oh, cat. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's desperate for some attention. You go there. Thank you. You like it there. Yum, yum. All right, back to what I was doing. After that uh, sudden cat break. Off top, Epic Square also made one shoot em up, which turns out to be good. Which. What, what game is that? Uh, fucking Einhander, wasn't it? I think I played that on a on a PS1 demo disc. Oh yeah, I have. I know. Okay, I didn't realize that was like the only shooter game that Square made. I thought they made more than just that. But I played Einhander on on demo disc. It's, it seems decently fun. Where it pretends that games never exist since then, that's unfortunate. Did not sell well? Reference in their Final Fantasy 17 Rebirth now? Really? Rufins. Rufins.
Jeez. Was another cakewalk. Oh boy! It should be interesting to see how this do how I get on with this with the P1 car. So I might have caused murder. <laughs> Sir, that's not where the track goes. Oh, God. Oh, my God. thing just fucking goes.
Let's see if getting a sub 110 is possible. So close. Ooh, it just kind of went a bit too slow. Kind of slowed down too much for this corner. better. Maple Valley is autumn ring at home. Change my mind. Too lazy to try and change minds. Because that requires effort. Gonna be the one. Hey, there we go. Sub Two sub 110s in a row. Oh god. And I finally went too fast for that. It's only a matter of time that I did push it a little too fat too far.
Oh, I'm way ahead of the competition, so it's no big. So that was so that was no biggie. Seems like the the strat in this game is with a P1 car, just put all the downforce on, and then you will absolutely just fucking fly through the corners. And my cat's come back again. Meow, meow. Come on, cat, please get move. Meow. <sighs> come on. Meow, meow. Fly away through the corners like Lenny Kravitz. Like he's not, like he's eating a milky like he's enjoying a nice bar of Milky Way. The milky Way. There we go. That was fun to see how fast I could get through Maple Valley. Oh boy. This should be interesting though. Be just trying to find my way past these these assholes. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. Oh dear, this is uh, <laughs> this is uh, gonna be one of these ones, isn't it? bit of a mess to get there, but we're now in front.
Are you trying to ask that ironic, like, on ironically? Are you being serious, or, or are, you, are you genuinely curious about my actual opinion, or what? Uh, uh, sure, I guess then. Like, in all seriousness, it was still a, like, my feelings, my feelings of this game in current, in present day aside, I'm not going to deny this, like, this game was extremely, like, you know, culturally significant for what it was, especially at the time. It's like, finally showing that the people, because at the time, like, you know, Xbox players really didn't have a Gran Turismo, and that this was that answer, and it was a big deal for it, because it was the first one to really kind of Come on, cat, please. <sighs> why, why do you choose now to do this to me? Let the cat speak. Maybe the cat's got a good opinion on this. <laughs> She's too busy j jumping all up on me right now. Cause, cause the cat's got something to say. Hey. Hey, I can't see. Hey. Yum, yum. Good night, uh, good night, Meister. Imagine still being awake. Couldn't be me. Wait. Me, brethren. Something. Jesus. I still got like another half of races for, for this one to do afterwards and then that's gonna be that's gonna be it for the stream oh, God, oh, God, like very sudden annoying itch Thankfully, it's not one of those itches.
Sorry, the tr what the he what is a trust fork? Oh, is that a typo? Damn, <coughs> can't believe it. Trusty fork. Okay. I do find it amusing though that if for such itches though you fought you feel that a fork is the best solution is fork. Like I so long as it helps. Excuse me.
Whew, excuse me. Alright, one more go around here. Lap 1D1. Oh dear. That's the that's the sand. But I th the one that one of the one the, that I thought would be one of the harder ones is done, and I mean it kind of was diff a little bit difficult, at least more in comparison to the other ones. Also the longest one. Well, now we come to uh, Road America. Should be interesting to see how this one goes. How, like, because I know with the GTS Ferrari, I was getting under under two minutes. I might be driving a TSO twenty Q, but it's still this game's AI we're talking about. Which has, which definitely can have its moments. Yes, the the funny Ferrari is not. It's currently not here. Let's talk about the three thirty three SP. I believe it. W I believe it won't be till. The uh, the P1 ch uh, the P1 championship in the uh, uh, championship mode when I'll be able to to uh, get the uh, 333. Once I get that thing, I know I'm using it for the endur in an, at least one of the endurances for sure. I think we definitely are going to use that car. was a 150 on a standings third lap.
Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck's sakes, game. Sure love when it just when the car hooks because of because of a bit of grass. Sakes, dude. just on me. Fucking hell, dude. Come on. Fucking get out of the way. Oh, fuck off. Come on. Ugh, this, yep, this runs over. I thought I would have been free with it, but nope. Still even still even at this point, I'm still dealing with this crap.
dude. Hello, I'm fucking here. Ugh. Okay. Game, can you knock it off with giving with lo making me lose all my fucking handling whenever the fucking cor rear quarter panel gets hit by another car? Please, that'd be really fucking nice if you could knock that shit off. Fucking, are you serious? Really, my guy. Fuck you. Ugh. So goddamn sick of this stupid AI. I chose to I chose to keep playing it this time and just because I just want this game fucking done and over with. Uh, congratulations, dumbasses. Makes my life a little bit easier. Just makes my life a little bit easier. J 
amazed I was able to pull off that uh, overtake there, to be honest. Let's do a flip. God, I, w I fucking wish I could right about now. Thank you for the thank you for this resub. Welcome back. Fifty-five months. Your boy, your boy here needs that needs whatever whatever you can get to get that new GPU. Smile. Okay, we're back in the lead. It's just everything work. Hopefully, we'll be fine. expect to still be here honestly at like past 3 a.m. but just I think it's just that commitment of just wanting to get this game finished is why I want to do I'm doing these longer sessions it's that com that dedication to just want to have just want to have this game off my hands That sometimes just well again I apologize that this last while really hasn't been a lot of me talking just at this point at this point in time it's like it's just hard for me to even con construct words right now
home free on this track. Unfortunately, I now know what's coming next, which sadly is a... Uh, the oh, oh wait, no, I got Rio first, then the boring track. The boring tracks after this one. I shouldn't even be surprised. I shouldn't even be fucking surprised. <sighs> Fuck this game's AI, man. There. That's a lot more like it. Okay, it's fine, everything's fine, everything is fine. Everything's not fine! Okay, just, just break, just break from the pact, everything will truly be fine. Now that I'm breaking from the pack, everything will be fine. Or at least I hope everything will be fine. Oh, I should have been sooner on the brakes. How many of you are still alive after all the after all after the fucking nine hours I've been doing this? How many of you are still alive in chat? I'm oh, not alive. I'm you're also not chat. in chat. You're also not in chat. I I, I got the stream up, but I could be in chat. I could I could be whatever you want me to be, baby. Please don't say it like that again. I am not your dad. I claim no aliveness. Well, there's at least one. There is at least one individual. There's at least one. Look, simple flips won't admit to being my dad. You won't admit to being my dad. Who the hell's my dad? I don't fucking know. I am no individual, just a mere gamer. What are, what are we in this world? Are we just all gamers? A gamer participating in the activity of gaming. Sucks. United by a 
mission for gaming. We here get together to strive to game harder and longer than anyone has ever gamed before. Well, that sounds like a dystopian nightmare. Can't be a gamer because that means I'll be a traitor to my people? Never did figure out who Ming was. Fucking too gay to care. That's me, baby. Too gay to care. Just hear vibe, just hear vibe and, and be able, I'll enjoy getting this championship done because then that means I can just snooze afterwards, probably. Excuse me. Make sure that next time I do this, I'm not. I'm gonna try and make sure I don't just suddenly snooze and then have to start later. I'd much prefer that, I think. I'd much prefer to start at my usual time like next time.
Ooh. They put Formula E in Trackmania real. Trackmania. Track. Track. Uh, mania. I don't know. Also, H. Hello. Good morning, Rezzy. I'm still somehow here. Because I started at a. I, I started at a later time because of uh, poor decision. Uh, poor. Poor decisions. Gotta eat that powder that makes me say real. Are be real? I feel like I'm missing it. I feel like I'm not get understanding this joke. Three thirty in the morning. Fuck me, dude. <coughs> yeah, so nicely. Okay, Rio is done. I've just hit ten million credits total in terms of how much I have earned from races. You have given context. It's pretty self-explanatory. Oh, that's... Okay. Real. That's pretty real. Alright, if, uh... If, you, if, you, if somehow some of y'all are still awake, then this track will certainly be the one to put you to fucking sleep, because it's time for Silverstone again. Oh, boy. Can't wait for flat. The British did it. Gonna shake ass for this one. God, what are you? Are you trying to? Are you trying to make it more exciting? Game. Enough with that. I mean, fair and valid, you. I figured who's though. Damn. Who's trying to get their ass shook? I, I mean, that is the... That is the question of the century. Let's 
stupid itches. Again, it's almost like they, 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 the AI just doesn't even try to get off your car. It almost feels deliberate. again for the third lap in a row always seems to be around that corner too just almost by design at least we're past him now so that's fine Properly free, I should just be able to just, uh, just just engage in speed.
It's just funny how with certain tracks like this, I can just... When it's just more like open space and just sweeping corners like that, I can just absolutely wipe the field. But for some reason on other tracks, if it's like Unisaka or even to an extent Rio, it's a lot harder to do that. Brazil mentioned. Brazil scary. Sure is. Please don't put me in the hole. Delicious hole. Morning, Glaber. I know this is a very unusual time for me to be streaming, but I've been here for like the last nine and a half hours. I was actually nearing the end of the stream. I just got like this, uh, this race, and then one more race to do, and then. Yeah, particular championship to be. Eh, yes and no, honestly. Like again, this game is. I, 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 I'll give this game its due for what it is. For what it is, but truthfully, there's a lot of things about this game that just. I, it's just hitting me in the uh, hasn't aged as gracefully department, and uh, it's giving me some uh, mixed vibes at times. Like especially. The AI especially is probably the worst offender of it. But 
but I still, it's it's not a bad game. It's just shit can get frustrating sometimes. But even even despite despite even despite my rages, someone's going to Brazil. Oh dear. I'll never get over the lab counters two typefaces. I do all I do admittedly find that very funny that it uses different typefaces for the lap counter. I don't I don't I don't really understand why they did that, but shrug, I guess. Okay. It's a quirk. All right, last one for this championship. Or maybe a feature. I record laps here sometimes, and the track control doesn't really work properly. I see I didn't even try to use it. Nope. Definitely not just... I, I can imagine... I, I had a suspicion it probably didn't work very well, but... Uh, Hamburger ring. Very wide, very uh, Nurburgring, but uh, but they decided it needs to be big. Er, needs to be. We need to make it bigger. Oh. Well, that was not gonna go well. Yeah, it just feels like feels like it does the reverse effect. Okay, I'm free of them. Already free of them. Now just don't botch this. Yes, there is indeed a Panos LMP in here. God bless Don Panos. I was worried for a second I might have been a little late on the brakes there, but now we're good. Excuse me. Cat. 
on the last race of the night. Just give me a give me a bit a break for just a little bit, okay? Come on. Hey. Hey, come on. Hey. Hey, come on. Cat, you have to move. I can't see what I'm doing. Hey, come on. Come on. I have to do that. <laughs> moo, or whatever the cats say nowadays. It would be funny if I just said moo, and she actually did moved. Jeez. Didn't mean to do that, but kind of went in there too hard, too too aggressive. Oh God. Okay, final lap of this session. Last lap of the stream. Oh, Jesus.
Oh, Jesus. go quack that's indeed what the goot do this is factual Jesus, I didn't realize I was going to hop, hop the curb like that.
please do not the curbs. go that's the class art that is the professional de league of events finally all done and we get an art and we get a golf r8 as a prize for this which is which is nice there's a euro car too so i and i believe in the championships i had the euro ones with p1 vehicles so that will become useful for that but there we go, so... 20 of 20 now for Professional, finally at long last. And I'm about 87.9% complete. I've got three more championships. One that's eight, one that's nine, and then one that's fucking 10. This one does not, thank uh, thankfully again, even though, you know, all that amount of events that one doesn't have the fucking infield not doing it to, I'm obviously not doing it tonight but I'm gonna buy the car in advance yeah obviously obviously if, if, I'm, if it's gonna be for GTS in Japan I might as well use this because this will have um, all that extra handling to see for comparison. Yeah, ju judging by the uh, judging by the stats, I wouldn't there's, there's no real reason not to just go with that. Maybe if you want like a slightly better s speed on these, but yeah. You're best off just going with this. That one. I just want to. I just want to see what the events look like. See what's to see like what's left. Okay. Yep. Still no test track on that. Yeah, these cars are just too fast for it. That's what I was thinking. Oh, wow. Inter okay, this is interesting. The European RP1 Open does not end with the Nürburgring. That's actually interesting. This, is actually a, this, this, one's, this one's actually a deviation from all those. Obviously, this one has it. But interesting that there is still one left that does not have the Nürburgring in it. And then the endurances, which yeah, I've got, I've got cars for that. This one's got to be an urban thing. Yep, eight laps of the Norch Life. And then I, I just want to see what the rest of these look like, just to throw them, just as a little throw it into the video at the end. So D class endurance is 35 laps of Sakuba. C-Class Endurance is 25 laps of the New York, the short version of New York. Uh, B-Class Endurance is uh, 20 laps of Tokyo. A-Class. 16 laps of, oh god, 16 laps of Fold Silverstone. Uh, could be worse. Uh, classic Sports. 22 laps of Laguna Seca. Hell yeah. The 911, uh, the Porsche 911 endurance. 18 laps of Sunset Peninsula infield. S class. 19 laps of Rio. Oh, that one I remember being a pain. Uh, RGT. So GT, so GT class. 
24 laps of Road Atlanta. Uh, GTS. 20 laps of Road America. And then 8 laps. Okay, so... Interesting. But anyway, so that's what that's what the rem that's what the remainder of that looks like, and uh, who knows? May we'll see how the next part goes if we can get it all done within that stream, or if it's gonna take a couple more after that. But we'll see what happens. So please make sure to stay tuned.